Well, cower in fear, cowards. That's right, baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. They couldn't take us down, Ethan. They tried. They sure tried over there, Hessen. They tried to take us down over the I, over this break. Mm -mm, I'll tell you what, boy. They can't do nothing about it. But they can do to it. Take these we from... are all domestic That's terrorists. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, we have so much to talk about. Welcome back, Hassan, to I our know. $20 billion complex. It's highly sophisticated. Inflation made it $30 billion now. Inflation. Shouts yeah, out to Brandon. Ugh, hate that guy. Um, how you been? I've been. You know how. I've been. Yeah, I was with you. I spent you were with me over the break. Yeah, we break. had a good time over at your house, streaming. Yeah, hanging where out. you shit all over my production and everything I do. You, I, I, I was only you answering like, questions that you, you asked me. You literally were like, "Why are you covering your purse? Like, no one cares about what's going on in your <laughs> life." I was like, "No, they do. Actually, they want this." <laughs> There's no way they care. <laughs> You're like, "They don't care." There's why no are way. you watching a Moist Critical video? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, well, you know you, what. You invited me. Yeah, I know. You're a fucking menace. I'm so. I'm just happy that we didn't get banned when you were there. Holy yeah. shit. I was so worried. Yeah, he was sweating bullets. He would go to the bathroom. I felt like Dan, dude. I was just... <gasps> Shredder, you made it! Hi, Shredder. Hi, Shredder. You made it. You made it. Yay, Shredder. You all brought him today because we were trying to feed him. Yeah. I heard. I heard what's, uh, what's, what's going on with that. Good boy. Hello. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> just he, just, he just started running at me full speed, so I had to acknowledge him. Yeah, no, no, I understand. Um, I was but yeah, saying, you were, you were uh, shitting all over my operation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and what I do for a living, and uh, you hated it, and it's fine, I think. Well, that's, yeah, I mean. Was, we, had a, we had a banger episode yeah, on the pod. Fun. It was fun. It was great. Yeah, it was good. It was fun. I'm, I had a lot of fun over there. <laughs> But, but like, I, I will say, every time Hassan went to the bathroom, I hopped in his chair, and this man came back like he's seen a ghost, like he was fucking freaking when he saw me in his chair every time. Bro, I just, I just know. I know what you are capable of. I've seen what you've done, okay? And I have no strikes. The strike is gone. Our channel is strikeless. So don't fucking test me, bro. Oh Jesus, he's like, he's you got. Know what I mean? He's like, I got, I got one in the chamber right now. My dog is sick, and I'm on the fucking verge, bro. Yeah, you, you. Uh, Actually, you I might get leech. banned for what I'm about to say about George Santos today. No shot. George Santos is a legend. I love him. Well, I agree to an extent, but then when I saw this story about how he basically oh he killed stole the dog. money and yeah. this poor guy's this homeless vet's dog died yeah. of cancer. Fucking I am so That is the worst dead. thing he's done, objectively. Dude, like I am so fucking <laughs> angry. I was It's like it's almost comical how bad okay, we're spo that's a spoiler alert. We're gonna talk about that later. We let's let's We have so much to cover. We get have to. so much to cover. It's yeah, crazy. We have so much to cover. Oh my god. So um well yeah, let's see. But I'll when leave. you ask me what I do for my break, like or how my break was like it's the same. You know what I mean? My same life shit. my life does not change over the break. I just keep doing the same thing. Let me see your hair. You obviously cut your hair. You had a big old head of hair. Now I personally I don't even think that's a mullet, to be honest with you. It's, it's just like a it's a Listen. nice normal haircut that's a little it's just a little trimmed on above the You ear. gotta you gotta take that up with my main man, uh friend of the show, Jeff. That's who you got to take that up with. Cause are you unhappy the one... with the haircut? No, I'm happy with it. I wanted to, I wanted to get a mullet in between before I like go back to my regular like old short hair, basically. Mm. And it's fine. I think like you know maybe the mullet's not for me, but uh, the short hair certainly is. You know, I just you grew that hair out for so long just to get a mullet. I don't know, man. You you owe the you owe the people better than that. I would not be talking about hairstyles if I were you. Okay? Hey, nobody's nobody's making fucking, fan. Hey, listen, nobody looking like looking like motherfucking uh, the Shane. Zoolander villain. People are saying I look like Bobby Shane. Hill. <laughs> it's true, you do look like Bobby Hill. Yeah. Oh that, no. That's the best one. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. By the way, so um, apparently Andrew Tate is live from prison right now. Should we check that out? I would love to check that out. I would. No. 
<laughs> Here, he is in detention. I'm in prison. He's, he's is this real? But if you detention. think about it, looks it, like a studio. If you think about it, uh, we're all in a prison. We're trapped in the Matrix. <laughs> That's a good accent. You hit oh. that weird. That Dude, weird. If, now that he's gone, I, I need to steer these rudderless men, uh, you know, to the bountiful uh, waves of misogyny. Now, when was the first yes. Okay, okay. This okay. guy's. What the this fuck is, is not, going No, no, no. This has to be a, a, a pre record. I was kind of up and down. I was working in the fish market, but I was still fighting. Vibes? What, what, dude, what is happening right in now? Time this is training, so bizarre. No, this is like, you know what this is, bro? Start this to make is a like one of those, uh, fighting, but not much. And then I, I this <laughs> is like one of those like crypto scams, you know, where, like Elon Musk is talking about, you know, selling Twitter. And then it's like a Bitcoin scam shit that like they basically took over someone else's account. They hacked it. <laughs> and then they're I, now I, I in a crypto scam. There's no fucking way. Wait, there's only 78 um, people watching. Job, That's the game. Really that seriously, That's it. it was it's probably just a loop of his old. Yeah, it's a loop of his old shit. Yeah, no, this is not. What is this? Wait, what did you read, Olivia? He wasn't live yesterday. No, they're just looping yeah, his old shit, probably. There's, there's no fucking way. This is the corniest set I've ever seen. A Shut flash? Up. Vibes? So, I heard something. That is not vibes. He'll be out of prison. I mean, he... he I think he's going to get out of uh, detainment soon. I don't know. It's like a 30-day... He was on a 30-day hold. It. They might extend it. They might also, uh, you know... I, I don't know how the Romanian court system works that well, but... I suspect, like, if they consider him to be a flight risk or a danger... He definitely is a flight risk. Uh, they would probably extend his detention uh, for the duration of the trial. Bring me pizza. Um, but, yeah. yeah. This this is from a month ago. Andrew. Yeah, so, okay, Andrew, enjoying your... Pri I think he's going to get detained. I think he's, he's going to stay in there longer. But, okay, whatever. FNL. Um... Trump is back on Twitter? Uh, he, not yet. He's, I mean, he's no, already no, back. No. Like, he's been unbanned, right? And yeah, Elon Musk, like, posted that tweet about, like, please fuck my ass, Donald Trump, like, if you remember. That was, like, very weird. You remember that one? I don't remember him begging he, for that. He, no, he literally, what he is posted a, a, a tweet of, like, like, someone trying to get Jesus to have sex with, like, this lady, like, showing her butt to Jesus in the barn. To like get Jesus to fuck her, and then Pippin. and then he put like Twitter on the Elon Musk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm not it. making no, this no, up. no, no. But you guys can find it. I, I know what you mean. He's he's memeing him. Yeah, yeah. He's he saying, was like, you please. can't resist. Yeah, got yeah. you, got you, got you. Please. Well, he's please right. Come fuck me, Elon. He's I right. mean, uh, Trump. Pippin. That's what he did. Oh, uh, it's gonna be so nice to have him back. It's gonna be so nice, bro. Yeah, here's the meme you're talking about. Hold on. Okay, this this is pretty graphic, Elon. I mean, come on, bro. I had a beat off. Yeah, that's what. It, yeah, I wasn't even. I wasn't even making that up. It's I know it true. sounds. It is. It true. sounds like I made it up because it's so stupid and unhinged. But like, I I wasn't. Anyway, so yeah, he was like, "Please, please, oh, daddy." Did you hear oh, this? Please. This news is kind of crazy. Alec Baldwin is being charged with manslaughter. I don't know oh, if you've been following shit. that from Russ. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Here, I did not know that. Let's see. The prosecutors. Damn, Dude, we're breaking news up in here. Leftovers, yeah, bro. Season, we're back. What are we? What is it? Season three now? Is it leftovers? Is it season three? Or you two? could call it that. I mean, we started. Yeah, we started in twenty twenty one. What the fuck? Leftovers season three. That's crazy. That is crazy. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, like, we're yeah, on. So we're Al on season three, and and that's if we're breaking news now. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, Baldwin was charged, you know, he's been on like a whole defense tour, apparently. I've been following it kind of closely, but the police have been investigating him. They've been asking questions. They've been interviewing him. I never thought they were actually going to try to charge him, though, and this is nuts. I wonder what they've got on him. Let's see. Um, Baldwin says he did not pull the trigger, but it's been, I think proven or close to proven that he did pull the trigger. So what's up? Is there a second shooter in the grassy knoll? What's he talking about? <laughs> right. But I mean, it was an accident, right? I mean, he didn't, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's manslaughter. It's negligent homicide, right? Yeah. Yeah. I heard on the radio on the way in that he's being charged specifically with um, unintentional manslaughter is what it's called in New Mexico. So Unintentional manslaughter. That is wild that, 
like he could serve a criminal sentence for what's this? The, what's the crime for unintentional? I mean, well, yeah, what's the sentence for unintentional, accidental? Involuntary, there you go. Involuntary manslaughter. That was the crime. Uh, that seems like such a convoluted uh, charge, doesn't it? Yeah, especially because it's like New Mexico, uh, where I feel like you could just like kill someone deliberately and get away with it. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I find that rather strange. Hey, but, Alfredo. Um, but you oh, know, other shit, than that, I mean, bro. hey, listen, if if Alec Baldwin, uh, if there's new details that are released and he was negligent to the degree that like he could have avoided shooting this person and killing this person. Well, the the problem was that he was like a producer and creator on the show. Like he was the guy. It was his show. Yeah. By the way, I mean, look. that's that's normal though. That's like pretty basic stuff. That's how most you know movies. Dude, uh, what happened to what happened on the on the filming of of the taping of Crow? I believe that that was like was Brandon Lee, right? That was a yeah. Total, that's right, it's Brandon Lee. That was a total fluke, right? Where one of the blanks a shot of there was a blank him. stuck in the barrel. Yeah, uh, and then the second blank like shot the uh, cartridge from the first blank out and it killed him. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. I think they're I think they're stopping to use blanks altogether on film set. I don't think they need them anymore. Just go blanks. For the, just go for the special <laughs> effects. <laughs> yeah. A weird, weird part of me just like I love squibs, and I, 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 even though they are very dangerous, and and like I understand why people use blanks, even though they are also very dangerous. Like my advocacy always revolves around like making sure that you have better workplace conditions when these people are handling like super dangerous material that is explosive ultimately and to make sure that like they are well taken care of and they're not getting uh what the fuck is squib bro what is this squibs are like little explosive pellets that uh like quentin tarantino uses them still oh it's for movie making yeah it's for movie making okay. where like they have basically stopped that altogether. Now they use like now they I see. they just use, they just CGI it. It doesn't look the same. Not it yet. doesn't. No, but squibs yet. are also like aggro, so I guess it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little different anyway. I, I, whatever. This is a total random. Uh, yeah, just a headline. Step. I thought we were breaking news, season three. Yeah, we're I we are breaking news. You know. But yeah, Jeff. Uh, you know, hopefully he's. It, I, I don't know if he's getting a surgery now or if he's he's about to get a surgery this week. I hope he's uh, doing all right. I hope he recovers. Oh, is he doing so we can that? fucking fix my hair? Okay, yeah. that's the only that's the only reason well, dude, why. I'm surprised he's even cutting hair with one good eye. I mean, there's no way. Oh, he that... cut your hair with one good eye. Yeah, would you see my haircut? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The blind barber. Saying this he needs depth perception, dude. Yeah. I'm not trying to get Sweeney Todd or whatever. He's just. One false slip of the scissor, and you're going down the trap door, my friend. Lo love the guy, but, you know, I mean, just quit your day job. I yeah, think, bro. At that point. Stick with the beauty products. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, do you want, so here we have a big-ass story about this guy, George Santos, who is probably, uh, I don't even know. It's just... We're not going to, you know, you were skipping the, my, my TikTok ban? We can talk about that. I was just going to set it up and say, do you want to talk about this? The TikTok ban? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, I was banned on TikTok, which Philip Franco said was a good thing, by the way. He so did say that? We're battling. We're duking it was out. Was he joking? He was. He just clipped it out of I don't of appreciate context. him joking like that. It was that. like someone clipped this out of context and sent it to him, so he mauled. Okay. Okay. Um, Phil Philip, Black by Lives the way, I mean, he's on, his, he's on his glow up arc as well. He's not. He's not. He's my enemy. As well as you. You guys are both on your glow up. Oh, because we're losing weight, I see. No, Dude, he's skinny he, as hell, bro. He, he looks like he looks like he de-aged and yeah, looks he like looks an R ROTC cadet. Yeah. Like he, he wears like dry fit and shit now. Does he? Have you seen him? I saw the the last video he did. He had like this skin up. tight like he had this like skin tight under armor shirt. His pecs were like popping off a little mm -hmm. bit in it. I was like, I see what you're doing, Philly D. Let sexy see. Phil. Yeah, sexy like, Phil. Uh, I, I feel filled in. <laughs> he had like two chains on. Yeah, he looked good. <laughs> Age restricted. Really, what kind I of content are you making here, bro? I, I don't know about this one. I'm talking about the one where uh, I'm in the thumbo. I, you well, you avoided that one for some reason. Is it I just went to the newest one. Wow, he does look skinny. It, it's, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go click the one that, that has you in it. Yeah, is that, is it, how does that make you feel that I'm in another thumbnail? Let me see when's the last one I appeared in. It's been a while. Fuck. Well, I only see one of yours. Well, Fuck, uh, dude. Damn, it's been a while. Fuck. Oops. Oh shit, you're already in another one. Oh no. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, you're- Oh no! Dude, Phil, is he actually trying to get back? Well, we've been oh, on break. We've no, been on break. And we've another break. one. We've been on break. You know what I mean? Wait, yeah. no, here, see, this is right where before we went to break, my fat ass and fucked up haircut from Jeff. Thank you, Philly. Okay. All right, whatever. Yeah. So you, anyway, uh, yeah, he's looking good. Maybe you <laughs> should compliment him more, so we'll put you in a thumbnail. <laughs> So what kind of bomb threats or shit were you doing on TikTok to get you You banned? know, the usual, advocating for Black Lives Matter. <laughs> is that <laughs> on right? On MLK Day is yeah. when TikTok decided to strike the ban hammer. The, the thing is, I mean, the video is, like, kind of funny. It's not supposed to be, like, super serious. But it's just, like, m me reacting to a cut video where I'm describing the differences between, like, Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter and why, you know, one side of that argument is silly. And uh, my editor, Austin Knox, decided to put this next to one of those, like, sand, kinetic sand uh, videos and also subway surfers. <laughs> it's like a meta on TikTok right now. Dude, that's awesome. And, and by the way, that shit was a banger. Apparently, <laughs> that meta is very solid because this video got, in one hour, got 700,000 views. Wait, love, are you hearing this? It got 700,000 yeah. views. Where are you at with the kinetic Sam, bro, and the sur subway surfer? And whenever oh, I go viral, whenever yeah. I go viral on TikTok, immediately, like, just like the, the you know, Tate fanboys, the Tater Tots try to take your live streams down, yeah. they mass report it. They, they're probably, all you need is probably like 100 to 200 people max uh, and a bunch of different accounts to be able to, like, mass report someone. And because it's, uh, TikTok is run by just robots, I assume, and yeah. not real human beings, they took my account down yet again for, uh... Well, let's see what did you say, and I'll be the judge of that. Okay, you be the judge. Black lives matter or all lives matter? Black lives matter. I guess all lives matter. Like, Dude, this is so awesome, the kinetic fan. I thought, I, I thought this was a joke uh, when I saw it on Twitter, but this is the, actually the video he this posted. This is the actual video, yes. You can see it on my TikTok now. It's been recorded. It's actually kind of smart, because you have these two squares. You gotta fill it up over here with something. Yeah. There you go. That's a great way to look at the extremes on both sides. One side is saying black lives matter and, you know, black lives are a part of all lives. So all lives clearly don't matter until black lives matter because black lives currently don't matter. The other side is saying, no, nah, fuck that. All lives matter, actually. Black I can't take my eyes off the kinetic sand. I'm being honest. Yeah, the That's subway. so satisfying. Everyone focuses on something different. Like me, uh, I look at the subway surfers more than the kinetic sand, I think. I'm more of a subway surfers kind of guy. Same. You know. I'm surprised they were even able to focus on what you're saying uh, enough to punish you. Because they were this not. Is mesmerizing. It doesn't matter. You could, you could literally be like, hello, my name is Hassan Piker <coughs> and I like apples. And if enough people mass report it, TikTok will be like, yeah, fuck this guy. Well, you got a manual review and they said we reviewed it and we agree with the manual review. I mean, somebody typed it to you. No you think there's just robots No, there? of course. It's AI. They you use think AI. a fucking <clears throat> AI bot responded to you on... on Chatbots are incredibly common. That's usually what they do. Either they outsource it to, like, Indonesia, or they have chatbots, and now they use chatbots more Hold frequently. Hold on. Let me show this. Okay. So here's the message you got from TikTok support. Your account was permanently banned due to multiple community violations. So then I I it's not on that thread. There's a I did a separate one. Oh, it's not here? Yeah, just if you go to my profile, you'll find it. But look, what what happened was uh they not only came after me, but they took down my editor, right? They took down my editor's account too. What the separate? fuck did he do? Yeah. Huh? They banned my editor. Huh? My editor Austin Ox has his own TikTok account with like 60, 70,000 followers. And it's a hit job? Well, not by TikTok. It's just by like right wing groups that get together and like try to take down all my fan accounts and shit like that uh, deliberately. Yeah, I don't know here, where. Posted here, I, it. I got it. Yeah. So basically, what ended up happening there Here's was the I, I reached out to TikTok support because they were like, oh, TikTok support will respond to you. And I told them, like, you know, what happened. They checked it, come back like 20 minutes later. 
Hi again, Hassan. After speaking directly with our suspension team, the band will stay due to hateful behavior. We apologize. We cannot give you better news. Thank you for your patience and understanding, you fucking racist. <laughs> like, thank you for your patience, Mr. Racist Man, is what they said to me. Pretty clever if it is a bot, because they got like the lowercase I, a little bit of typos in there. I think this is real, bro. And they're just that, it's just that crazy. Bot farm. I just don't think that a real human being looked at that. That's possible. That is possible. It or, is. or sometimes YouTube has these policies that make no sense where they're like, no, because you, because you offered the argument for all lives matter, that's it. That's enough. Like, it doesn't matter that you're being critical of it. It's just you showed it. You're done. I don't think there was that much nuance. I think I, I am a firm believer that they saw multiple people mass reporting it and then they just moved on and and they just hit the band hammer it's happened multiple times now at this point i've gotten permit uh, once before hold on i want for some similar shit i want to finish this kinetic sand video matter too you're just fucking wrong for bringing that up the extreme in that situation is one side saying correctly that uh you know black people are disproportionately targeted by the criminal justice system and sometimes even killed as a consequence of that dis- Can you zoom on the sand part? I, the guy on the left kind of distracting. I, I tried. I can't zoom oh, okay. anymore. Damn. I'm zoomed all the way. I'll just- Okay, can I guys. Just mute this? Wait, hold on. Can I just mute this and- No. Well, clearly you're a hateful bigot and, re and uh, you don't deserve a voice on TikTok. So, there that is. All right, should we talk about the crowd over Shapiro thing or just, oh, well, we're, we got Bradley calling in at 11. Okay, we, we'll do a quick, ten, we, we'll do a quick tenor on this Crowder versus Shapiro civil, civil war unfolding so, in the right wing circles. It's so, so good because huh. obviously Crowder and Ben are probably the biggest conservative uh, talking heads yes. on YouTube. Uh, yes, they are. And, um, well, the Daily Wire sent... Crowder an offer to join their network and Crowder put out a video called Big Con is in bed with Big Tech because he Big thought the offer was so absurd so predatory he was insulted to such a degree he had to go out and expose it do I have that right so yes. fucking stupid bro yeah um he didn't say who it was, but I think everybody knew it was the Daily Wire. And then what's interesting is that the Daily Res Wire responded, and they're like, we're so sorry about trying to uh, prey on you for your $50 million over four years <laughs> contract we offered you that you said was slave labor. And Crowder's getting clowned on now, pretty much. Yeah, right? at first everyone was on his side. Even Jordan Peterson himself actually did not know who Crowder was talking about and, like, uh, uh, apparently offered support to Crowder for his, like, big con thing. He now deleted that tweet, by the way. Wait, and because, by the way... Because Jordan Peterson is also under the Daily Wire umbrella as a, as a podcaster. Now, um, all that stuff is great. Uh, what is psychotic to me is the number... And at first I thought maybe this is like a marketing scheme to be like, look how, look how much money the conservatives have. You know, they're just like lying about the contracts because like 50 million for a four year contract as a starting offer is bananas to me. It's I massive. do not understand how they're generating that level of revenue. But then I realized that like, it's not even about the stuff that they're selling. It's not like they're, you know, woke racist razors or whatever the fuck. It's just, you know, they're funded by a lot of wealthy uh, billionaires, millionaires that just <clears throat> dump money into their propaganda outlet, knowing full well the, uh, knowing full well Good. how valuable it is to, to have yeah. someone fucking saying these racist things. Well, compared to how much money they waste on ads and shit, this is like the best return on investment ever. Yeah. Compared with that. LOL. Um, there was a there was some really funny parts of this contract, but before we even get into that, one thing I do want to mention is that um, you see a lot of people. I will not be naming them that start off on like uh, the left as content creators, as baby content creators, and they can't cut it on the left. Ruben. And then they turn and they make a heel turn and to the cool. right. Okay, and the crowd you, you, on the left. You rarely ever see the inverse of that. Crowder did not start on the left. Rarely ever see the inverse of that. 
usually because uh, I, I am uh, much more empathetic to people understanding and changing their ways and learning from their past mistakes and becoming more open-minded, more progressive. Because the amount of money you can make, if you want to be a political commentator, the amount of money you can make with like, while, while simultaneously not being a very entertaining figure uh, is, is almost endless on the right. You can make a lot more money on the right grifting than you can on the left, okay? Because <laughs> leftist movements are not funded by, you know, big tech or uh, whatever kind of big industry in the same way that like right-wing movements are. And it's all grassroots. And, it, and you're going to have to have an organic fan base that uh, loves you and believes what you're, you know, believes in your content enough to give you money. The right doesn't have these sorts of problems. Um, so that's precisely the reason why you see a lot more people grifting on the right than you see it on the left. I absolutely despise when people are like, ha, you're a leftist grifter. I'm like, dude, if I wanted to grift, I would just become the best right wing broadcaster on the fucking planet. I think it would be so fun to actually try that. Like, I have this fantasy of making an anonymous right wing YouTube channel. I've thought about that too. Hiding my face, right? That'd be awesome. Yeah. And then being like, psych, you fucks. Wait till Daily Wire gives you a contract. <laughs> here's, here's Crowder crying about his $50 million over four year contract. Big tech is in bed with Big Con. He's talking about the Ben Shapiro, saw. by the way. He's so fucking angry that Ben Shapiro wanted to give him $50 million. What a fucking bitch. Well, as a starting offer, they, they, it was going to get higher than that, Ethan. Also, also, and he's so angry that he's willing to go public with it. it this, it's just, it's not happening, Ben. How dare you insult me starting at $50 million. I wonder if his gremlins know how much money he makes. The people I thought fight like hell for fifty million dollars. That's just like it's so funny. These guys, their audience is constantly coming to my chat to be like, "You're a fucking commie grifter. You make so much money. You're so rich. You're so rich." I'm like, brother, I make money because people month. voluntarily give me five dollars a fucking yeah, month. Yeah. When all of my content is famously free, okay. Not only is it free that, not only is it so free that you can watch it on YouTube if you want. You can watch it on Twitch. There's no like paywalls in that regard. Um, but also on top of that, you could literally take the content yourself, re-upload it, and make money yourself. That's why I have thousands of fucking channels on YouTube that are fan channel. Okay. And yet people still choose to give five dollars a month, and motherfuckers are mad at me for that. Meanwhile, this guy is complaining about fifty million dollars over the course of four years. That's crazy. This is the best expose on him because his fans are really getting a glimpse into like how not working class these guys are. You know, look at Jordan Peterson. He goes, Stephen Crowder on the hypocrisy of conservative legacy media. Jordan Peterson, who these days you can pretty much always count on the dumbest take on any given situation, talking about the organization that he's a part of, <laughs> and then erasing it. A fact. What a fucking idiot. Dude. Hell yeah. Precisely. Um, so the other the I, other I, part of this though, I have to call you out for a second. Because I said what the fuck did I do? I said on my YouTube page, on my own personal YouTube page, I get twenty five million views a month. Mm -hmm. But at the Hasanabi Industrial Complex, the Clips Complex, the universe gets around fifty five to sixty million views a month on top of that. Mm -hmm. That's eighty five million views a month. Right? I gotta say, I just You say, said Steven Crowder has more of a YouTube presence than me. No, that's, first of all, I didn't say that. I said you guys are about the same. That's I, crazy. I just looked it up. He's Crowder well, first bitch First of all, first of all, this 65 million number you're pulling out of, yeah. of thin air, I need some backing evidence for that. Okay, just the 25- I need an XL. I need an XL. Just that. the 25 million alone uh, still destroys Steven Crowder. You're right, Crowder, I didn't know that. Crowder bits gets 1 million- views <laughs> uh, a month. Steven Crowder's main channel gets around 12 million, 13 million views a month. I'm almost doubling up on my just a channel okay, alone. Chill, bro. Damn. I said, <laughs> well, Hassan was trying to, he goes, he starts flexing. He goes, yo, 50 million. I'm more, way more relevant than he is. And well, first of all, as you just, I said, well, you're about as relevant, I'd say, because he, he is big. I think now, now before I'll say this, I went to his channel. He didn't have any as many views as I remember. So I'm thinking you should take that deal, Crowder, because it seems like you're on the downswing. But Hasanabi is super relevant. And um, 
He's looking to join the Daily Wire as That's well. That's right, ben baby. Shapiro, if Give me the fifty million. I will be, I, I will be the attractive Stephen Crowder. I'm just gonna start being like, oh, the, the, the Chad is mad. Chad is saying you do look like Stephen Crowder right now with the haircut. Uh, that is such disrespectful slander. I will be suing all of you. <laughs> Yeah, but um, you'll be hearing from my lawyer, the Daily Wire team. You, you'll be hearing from my lawyer, Ben Shapiro. He went to Harvard. What? You would take fifty million, you broke loser. Even Steven Crowder would no, settle for that. Not. Of course, I would not. Hundred million. It's least. like that's the no. no there is I've, ta- I've talked about this so many times, but like you know, people won't believe me, but like I already make too much fucking money. I, there is no amount of money that would get me to like change my principles because like. Why the fuck would I? I already make. What? I already have my own. Uh, I, I already make enough money with my own advocacy. Fifty million. I'll say whatever you want. You're crazy. I'll be no, whoever you want. You're such a liar. I'll be like, yo, trans people are lame. You are such a liar. Gay people should liar. get back in the closet. The difference between Fucking how much money liar, you make now. Dude. The difference between how much gener- uh, revenue you generate right now versus how much more money you would make I'm is saying, insignificant trans, to your quality back of life. Back in the closet. I just got a fifty million dollar. The point deck. is, the point is, it's insignificant because like hormone you, replacement therapy is child grooming. Okay, you're gonna get 50 banned. Fifty million. Now. You're gonna get banned because like check right you're now. Gonna get, oh, stop it! It smell. It tastes good on my lips. I love what it. What a fucking Weasley little liar. My dude. point is, my point is, the difference between how much money I make now versus like that level of money. Is not going to improve my quality of life so dramatically. It's not going to change my life. That's what I like you're streaming. You're saying that because you ain't making fifty million. No, because what the fuck am I going to do with fifty you million? You say that now. I sit. <laughs> when people ask me, "What do you like to do?" I'm like, I literally do what I like to do. I sit at my fucking room and I yell for eight hours. You sound broke. <laughs> Just saying. All right, here let's watch. Let's watch Crowder uh, talk about the big con. We're fighting for you. A lot of it has been. A big con. Now I'm They're not fighting li- for you. They only offered me fifty million dollars. Yeah, it's all a big con. Avoiding naming names or going after individuals uh, in this video, because I genuinely hope that those I'm addressing and you know who you are have a change of heart. Don't sign. Don't sign these contracts. Who are you talking to? Like who else is getting fifty million contracts out there? Hey guys, don't sign these. I know, I now know what you are signing out there. I have the luxury of not having to. You know, let me go through this. If any of the major platforms issues a content strike such that Crowder cannot be monetized on such platform, the fee will be reduced by 25%. That's not that much, by the way. If they're like, yo, you're permanently banned from YouTube for whatever reason, we're just going to cut it by 25%. Like, I thought you would ride for him on this one because, you know, you're Mr. fucking well, ban happy. Well, listen... At a certain degree, if you're signing a contract to provide content for somebody and you literally can't, I mean, getting 75% of your, of your salary is still pretty dope. Another 20% of it happens on Apple. And then another 10% of it happens on Facebook. And then another 10% of it happens on Spotify. And then if you get a... Probably just don't do mock executions of George Floyd, bro. If you're so... I mean, come on. Bro, it's so funny. He has a racism clause in his contract. He's like, oh, I have my lawyers on this. I should be able to say the N-word, okay? I put it in the contract. I have to say it. It's literally a fundamental part of my content. I have to be the biggest, most racist goober you've ever seen. The N-word. Yeah, that he would be. He would be coming. No, the it, but that's it. That. No, that's literally it. He's like, I need to be able to get banned because that's the kind of content I put out there. You, I mean, I even see his side of this argument almost because like, you're well, hiring him yeah. to be a racist. Yeah. So a part of that is also getting banned. Yeah. Okay? Every but now and then. I think they're just talking about, like, permanently banned, right? Like, if you've got to go bye-bye. Hold on, hold on. Then if you get a strike, meaning a suspension, oh. another 20%. Just to drive it home. You get hit by a car, you have a sick day, you could lose $100,000 a day. This is what's sent out to every. Damn, that sucks, bro. Everyone's feeling super bad for you right now. You're going to stop dissing it, the Nazis all the time. Here, here's the cutout. I give the part he really, uh, let's see, reduction of fees lost from boycott, content strikes, or bans from major media. Yeah, I guess because their whole thing is like, yo, we're, these people are corrupt, and they make, they ban you for no reason. And then on the back end, they're like, yeah, and so anyway, if they do ban you, they're right, and we're gonna dock your pay. 
Yeah. Which is what YouTube does. That's like 90% of his content is like screaming about YouTube banning him for like doing blackface every week. You know what I mean? And then, right. and then now he's going to get a contract with fucking Daily Wire. And Daily Wire's like, hey, we love your blackface content. <laughs> so good. Also, if your blackface content gets you banned, so, you're not going to make money. Can you pull up the like dislike on this, Dan? I want to see. I want to see if he's getting owned. Oh no, his fans are riding. No, for his him. fans were riding for him until uh, the Daily Wire came out and was like, "Yeah, Steven Crowder uh, is like lying about the contract, and it's like fifty million as a starting offer." Yeah, it's possible too that like, there's got to be like a an exit amount where it's like, yes, if you get banned, you lose this amount. But if we cancel the contract, you'll get this amount. If I don't know, he's a loser. What a I just douche. I can't get over the fact that a, a four year contract for Steven Crowder. Dude, that's like top athlete money. Is no fifty million. It's twelve million, twelve point five million a year. I think right, isn't it? Is that I, not top athlete money? No. Really, they make a lot more than that. I think top athletes make a lot more than twelve million. Yeah, not top, but I would say like. But like mid tier like level, yeah. mid, I got mid to uh, upper yeah. mid tier. Yeah, mid tier to upper like mid tier, like, depending on what industry we're talking about too, depending on what sport we're talking about, obviously. But like, but even then, it's it's a lot of fucking cookies, right? Like, it's a lot of money, and it blows my mind that like. The Daily Wire could burn twelve point five million a year on Steven Crowder. It is, and it, it, they must be doing insane numbers, dude. They're not. What, what? They just have they. One you think that I, 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 I they have a funding. That. No, There's rich people that just you say here's mi hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, they do that. Ethan, what the fuck they do you do think that? Prager U is? Prager University, okay, Wait. it's not a real university. It has no way of generating revenue. It is entirely funded by oil barons. Who, Adult incest. Who basically, <laughs> who a hundred million dollars is nothing to them. You know what I mean? They just burn it. Why do they do it? And this one is for all the fucking sweaty, crusty, showerless anarchists out there on Twitter who don't fucking understand the fundamental role that propaganda plays. Those guys get it. They know argument? that propaganda is invaluable. Okay. They know, up, and they'll, they'll the pay phone. for it. All right, so this apparently is the guys who fund the Daily Wire. Brother and sister want to make love? <laughs> for, the con for the beautiful content that Dennis so Prager wait, puts out like that. Where do I like read that. about this? This, this is the, how do you know this is him? Dan and Ferris Wilkes? Yeah. Sounds like the dude who killed Lincoln. Coincidence? <sighs> they have like these Thanks. guys have some insane shit in their background too. By the way, that's not even like they are. I mean, they're very funny looking, which is great. Oh, they are. That's awesome. Yeah, they're fucking idiots. Losers. They're sons of a bricklayer. Let's and see. They gave uh, Mason fifteen million to a super PAC supporting Cruz. Waste of money. They gave fifty thousand. I mean, who cares? It's nothing. They gave seventy five thousand. So where's the evidence that they're giving a gajillion dollars to Daily Wire? These are the guys that fund the Daily Wire. I don't know if it's in the Wikipedia. Uh, uh, oh, 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 sorry. These are the guns that... that guy, wait, aren't these also the guys that fucking fund uh, Prager U? Or maybe it's not Money! These. Money! So if these guys pull the plug, those websites, you think Prager and Daily Wire just go away? One million percent. Really? There is no world in which the Daily Wire is able to self-fund. Uh, the media is media is an incredibly expensive endeavor. Yeah. Especially when you do not have, like, especially when you have a, a large crew and you're buying other content creators to, like, bring them under your own umbrella. Um, ben Shapiro is incredibly popular. He's got one of the most f successful podcasts in the world. I agree. I understand His that. His YouTube channel is huge. But like, yeah, I mean, if he, and we're talking about generating revenue, 50 million is probably how much he's generating from that. So how's he going to give it you all? You think Ben Shapiro's generating $50 million yeah. in revenue a year? Yeah. You think I'm overestimating? I mean, I don't know how much you guys fucking make, so maybe, maybe you're right. I, think I don't know. Be, the, dude, the podcast alone, because it's super popular, it gets more views than ours, downloads and shit. And, and you're, I'm not even thinking about Facebook. I'm sure he kills there. 
Dude, Daily Wire is one of the most popular Facebook pages, too. That's true. Daily Wire dude, Daily Wire in and of itself makes a lot of money. I, do they makes, generate $50 million a year? Actually, considering the they, Facebook... They have a whole paywall, like, premium content thing, too. The <laughs> actually, Daily Wire you know Plus thing. $100 million. I think they make $100 million in you revenue. You think the Daily Wire generates $100 million <laughs> in revenue so. a year? I think so. And that's, that's just straight up them earning. That's not anyone giving them money. What'd you say, B? I said the Daily Wire themselves say they make $100 million a year. That I believe. I think that's accurate. Okay. Because the Facebook views, the podcast popularity, I can't imagine that any of these other goons are doing much work for them. Well, Jordan Peterson now is, is obviously huge, although I can't imagine how much they're paying that fucking idiot. In Rats month 14, the company became cash flow positive and has driven exponential growth with no additional outside capital is what they're saying. They started off with a small <coughs> initial investment by these two guys uh, to the tune of 4.77, uh, to the point of 4 Ah, I can't talk. 4.7 million in 2015 as well. Bro, I hate to break it to you, but I think they actually make them. I don't think they're running off oil money. Maybe they started, but I think Benny Boy is in there getting checks. There is no, I just can't he see is. that, man. I can't see that. Because, like, the NRA didn't fall apart because they got under, like, legal scrutiny. They fell apart because they tried to do TV. Like, media is is either incredibly profitable and very valuable if you're, ben like, Fox he's News. Doing. He's self-made. But these NRA goons don't know what the fuck they're doing. I agree, but these kinds of, like, uh... uh I'm sorry, bro. You're in growth, denial. They're the they real deal over there. They are trying to expand their operation to encompass Steven Crowder as well. They bought out Jordan Peterson, uh, Candace Owens, like, all these people. I just cannot see this being a sustainable enterprise knowing what I know about the media, especially when the funding vehicle for the media is advertisement They're revenue, angry. and they are constantly, they're constantly under hot water with ad rev because uh, advertisers boycott their stuff, they get banned off platforms. They might have been able to create a self-sustaining mechanism, but it just, I don't know, maybe it's just like a, a, a scary thought uh, that, that like these outlets are generating this level of revenue. But just like what I said, just like what I said earlier, mm. I think we overemphasize and, and uh, overestimate the amount of people that watch these people. And it's the same with the revenue that they generate as well. You think it's overestimated? How? I don't think they make a hundred. They, look, that would look be on crazy, Facebook. They bro. They do. They do. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Like, Facebook is a couple million. YouTube is, like, maximum mm. 10 to 15 million. No, you... There's no way. Based on what I understand of the business that I'm in... What is Ben Shapiro's... Like? Ben Shapiro's a main channel, right? He's getting 62 million... Okay, Ben Ben, ben is making a lot of money. He makes 62 million video views uh, a month. Uh, I hate to break it to you, bro, but this this is real. This is not being funded. I really, I'm sorry, guys. You got to just accept it. The people, they love fascism right now. They love this shit. They hate the gays and they love the fascists. Mm. And it's a top dollar right now. It is. Tim Pool is out there making bank. I think that motherfucker a lot of, doesn't have a coherent thought. A lot of these people, surely, uh, they get they get paid. There's enough. There's enough of an audience out there. But I don't think, uh, I think that there's a lot more shadowy funding happening behind the okay. scene than you would expect. Where's my George Soros money, bro? I'm waiting for that check. Like, that's projection. That's pure projection. What the fuck is the George Soros dollars, dude? Can I just chime in? Uh, I think it's probably a combination of both. I think they make a shit ton of money, but I think they also probably get subsidized and the reason i think that is because their whole premium service <coughs> hold on i should switch to myself sorry i'm switching today people um their whole premium service um they have like a whole back-end infrastructure for that uh, like that that's not on youtube or vimeo or something they have yeah. their own video streaming platform and that shit is super expensive to it's record. not that bad they have mm. the money it's like their own proprietary they're not hosting like terabytes of fucking content they are i mean they have like well it's there if it's their own content and people are paying for it then it's just a matter of money which they have yeah i'm waiting for ben shapiro only fans that's when the real money's coming <laughs> by the way so tim pool who i just mentioned he's look at this fucking idiot who the fuck is putting this on no that's just this this right here is literally 
Who? In my opinion, indicative of Tim Pool's like lack of clout. Okay, you don't <laughs> do this if you have Dude. an organic audience. This is the biggest waste of money I can ever imagine. No, it, it's not. Here's why. I mean, it is a waste of and money if you this. want eyeballs. It's not a waste of money if you look want people to think you are a legitimate enterprise. Really? That's I'm going like, to look at this and think this is legitimate? Look yes, at this man. Because he looks Times scared. Square. He no. looks, he's holding a fucking like standard podcast mic. It, it doesn't mic matter. And find... It's on Times Square. People look at that and go, oh, that's like, that's This legit. looks like spam. This Absolutely. This All does, of it. This is not, I don't know. This is just, I think it's kind of embarrassing. Look at this shit. This is for, this is for advertisers and other uh, brands and and people. Let's who get out. Let's go put. Let's put an ad out for leftovers. We could easily Square. do that. It's like uh, someone said. It's like twelve grand or something in the Twitter thread or it? Temple said. Yeah, it's nothing. Twelve grand for the month. Can we, Ethan? Can, no, it's, it's got to be more than that. No, it's nothing, bro. Billboards. What the fuck do you mean? Of no, I cheap. I've looked into billboard advertising for Teddy Fresh and like in a dumb shit stupid neighborhood. It's like in L. A. Yeah. Uh, next to nothing though. Like it's just that's a single. It depends on uh, flow of traffic, uh, but here on Times Square, this is like overcast uh, next to like thousands of other advertisers. So it probably like a, this is Times Square. A billboard can range in cost from five thousand for a one-day program to well over fifty thousand. Typically, the minimum amount of money required to advertise for a short amount of time, one to three days, is between five to twenty. He 25. said it was twelve grand. He said twelve. Th that's Tim Pool claims said. the ads cost 12.5k per month, though it's unclear if that's for one ad or for all three. They don't seem to be attracting any interest, though. I well, know, I know. For, for a fact, uh, on Sunset Boulevard, uh, if you want a month billboard, it's like over 100 grand. Yo, we need to pull one out and just next to him that's like, this guy's an idiot. Maybe it's because it's like a tiny one. It's not on like the, ma yeah, the, it's gotta, the Jumbotron it's, or yeah, something. It's got to be that off-Broadway fucking dollar store. Shit, you just wanted the photo. Yeah, if it is 12.5k is is cheap for a month for sure for an ad of this size because you just get one day and then you get the photo and then because nobody actually looks at it and cares. Like, we just buy one day's worth of us being like, This guy's a fucking idiot. By the way, these guys are inbred, their parents huh. fucked, and they're the result of that. Straight they, up, that's what I told you they look weird. Straight up, two siblings produce these fucking guys, guaranteed. You know what I mean? Straight siblings. Adult incest. There it is. Like, to this day, no one knows who funds the Federalist, okay? Federalist is like a legacy newspaper for the right, what that? The right wing newspaper. Yeah. Nobody knows who funds it. A lot of these, it, they, there is not enough eyeballs on this fucking thing for it to be a self sustaining enterprise. It is basically just make work for, uh, spoiled inbred republicans that went to yale and couldn't cut it in like any other viable industry and they want to write articles about how like uh, you know sissy hypno porn should be banned because it's making me gay you know what i mean like that's literally what the federalist is about that's what so many of these operations are about they're not actually like in it for the real eyeballs as long as they can sustain as long as they can get just like turning point usa as long as they can make the old fucks feel like they're actually reaching out to the youth, then uh, the old fucks will keep funding it. George Soros. Can we reach out? Does he have an email address? Will you accept money from George Soros? He's no. Just keep being you. He he's a, no, he's no. a communist, Hassan. Why wouldn't you accept no, money? No, no, no. no. George said, Soros is a communist. Dude, he just is like, just keep being you. No strings attached. I probably still would not take it. Here's because, 10 like, million dollars. Because uh, it's just the, the fucking credibility hit would be yeah. uh, too devastating. Someone would assassinate you for sure if you took money from George yeah. Soros. I don't want to say it, but he's like, yo, Hassan, just be yourself, bro. No strings attached. Here's $100 million. No. <laughs> I don't need it because there's no such thing. There's no such thing as a free lunch. There's no such thing as $100 million with no strings attached. Okay? Okay. It's not happening. Um, is Bradley on the line? What's going on there? He is not in the Zoom waiting room yet. Hey, did he stand us up? I'm gonna text him right now. Yeah, tell him, yo, bro, this is live. We're waiting for you, man. Don't, th hey, say, don't stand us up like Steve will do it to do you. We, you know how that feels. Don't do it to us. It's a vibe right now. Should I call him? <sighs> yeah, but, but just tell him he's live before you put it on the yeah, yeah. speaker. Um, oh, he said he's calling now. Okay, good. So my goal here is to... We know he's kind of susceptible to the Andrew Tate. 
I saw a video that I don't have access to the link you guys posted, by the way. Dan? Um, I saw a video on Monday that like blew my mind. And you've probably seen it. Oh, yeah, you did. It was the lawyer reacting to that like leaked Hustler University video. Yeah. And you know, this video is extremely hard to find. The only place I've found it, and we've looked everywhere, is this lawyer talking about I've, it. I've watched it. Bradley's in the uh, waiting room. No, I know you've, yeah, I know you've watched it, but I can't find the video anywhere. Oh, uh, because it's, uh, they, I think his team probably copy strikes those because they are paywalled content, technically. Right. Well, yeah. You, well, well, right, if you re-upload it, yeah. There he is. Can you guys see me? Yeah, I can see you, bro. What's up? Yo, first off, I gotta say, I love the new haircut, bro. Thank you, man. Are you talking oh, not to you? Not to you. Not to you. Not to you. Yeah, is he talking to me you, or is he talking to you? Talking I'm sorry, this time. Thank oh, you, bro. Okay. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. No, no, no. What you guys? What are you guys doing? What's going on right now? <laughs> All right, Bradley. I want to try. Uh, I want. I need to get your opinion on something. I know you're oh, open-minded. Clem Buterol. How quickly can we get <laughs> Ethan on it? No, definitely don't do it. No, not, not Clem. No, Clem is. <laughs> Is such a bad thing. You don't want to do it. Yeah. Which one? No oral Glenn? steroids. Clen is the horse bronchitis medication. Yeah, it's just oh, it's, it's like just a... too it's too acute. Like you know, it's just too much, too fast. I wouldn't do that. Are you driving right now, Bradley? No, I would never drive and be on the oh phone. My God. <laughs> this is primal as fuck, dude. dude. I, You're like looking down. You're not even uh, looking at I, the road, bro. Look at this shit. Oh, Jesus. No, I'm going to pull over. I'm, gonna pull, I'm literally about to pull up to the gym right now. I'm all right. All right. He's Congrats the on the new bro. gym. It doesn't matter. Way. He could just fucking drive over people. He wouldn't even know about it. Yeah, okay? he wouldn't feel it. Yeah. You just walk out like unbreakable. Yeah, LA, LA, LA sure infrastructure, baby. What? People are for sure mad at me right now that I'm driving on this call. I know. Yeah. I already know. Just don't. It's okay. It's, I'm literally I'm pulling in. But go ahead. What's Bradley, the, you're, you're on? alpha. You're like alpha. You're don't you don't concern yourself with what fucking sheep think. Okay, you're a lion. All right. <laughs> Here, here's what I want to. I want to first of all say, lots of love in our fans uh, uh, for you for what you did on that Nelk podcast. You try to bring the truth to them. Did you see uh, the, us appreciating that? Yeah, I did. I did. I saw them talking about. It. I, I, and honestly, man, like I, it's just I don't know. When you, it's like when you bring up anything that's opposing. Obviously, everyone's like. Yo, what the fuck? Or we didn't really go into it. I mean, I don't even know enough about the whole thing to really go into it, but I just remember having that conversation with you. Then I did some research and the word for word like miss on the website was like <laughs> was what I was looking up of that, oh, yeah. that lover boy. Yeah, yeah. So so, so well here here I I wanna show you a video. Okay. Are we gonna get him to watch the video? Okay. He we can show him a video, right, Dan? Yeah. It's gonna yeah, show up can, on your phone. Can show him a video. Can we wait until he's parked? No, I, I, I want you. Hey, no, I'm gonna park right now. I okay. gotta tell you guys, your, your guys' setup is so legit. Yeah. Like I know I said it a few times, but I'm like really impressed, man. Yeah. Anyways, thanks, I'm gonna bro. park. The more you talk about it, the video. better I, I feel about it. I love that. No, dude. Honestly, like you make me feel like I'm just getting started, and I I really have some work to do. Bradley, just put lie. the phone in your lap and just look straight Great. down at the video. <laughs> Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, you ready? I'm gonna roll it right. Oh, I feel like I'm your dick, bro. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fucking park. Okay. Yeah, and congrats on the gym. Sorry that Steve will do it. Betrayed you once again. What happened? He yeah, didn't yeah, show up. Hurt. He didn't show up, man. That kind of hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna lie. I was upset. Actually, like actually upset. Cause like all jokes and shit aside, uh, you know, it did make me feel a type of way for sure. And and did you guys work it out? Yeah, yeah, he's going to come. He, he said sorry. He did. And so I have to tell you something. You tweeted out that uh, you lied. Steve will no, do it. Did jerk off his dog. No, that. Oh, and, no. And then you quickly, you quickly erased it. What happened there? Yeah, because well, I was just like, that's nah, not really true. I was just, I was mad and I was joking. <laughs> Yeah, we heard. Why'd you erase it though? Do you, it so do you think good. it was because, like, when you named it Zoo Culture, Steve will do a thought like there'll be animals to jerk off there, and that's why oh, he was excited. And then he was like, "Oh Donnie, fuck, there's no animals to that jerk is, off here. I'm not coming." That Donnie. is interesting. <laughs> no, but yeah, I did. It was a post and delete because I was like, "Yeah, it's not worth it." But yeah, oh, that was that so did. funny. Come on. I might. I should have left it. It was. It was pretty good. I'm yeah. the cool dad now. Well, I was gonna. I was gonna quote tweet it and say 90 percent, bro. 90 percent of the poll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the HBO right. audience poll never lies. All right, Can you guys listen. hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Wait, Steve will do. Wait, hold on. What is this breaking news? Yo, wait, wait. Oh yeah, here's can the tweet. Hear yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, you heard it here, bro. Like you were angry, so how am I supposed to know that this wasn't you being truthful? No, because I was. I'll tell you why. Because I was sitting at lunch, and I was like, "Should I just do it?" And I was talking to my boys, like the guys who helped me make content. <laughs> it's so funny seeing that tweet. And then I was like, "I like." Con <laughs> I contemplated it and I posted, it and then I was like, "Ah, uh, is that kind of fucked up?" Because I didn't want to be mean. Because it's not true, actually. Are you sure? Because yes, again, if because I'm just putting myself in your in your shoes. If I'm angry and I'm trying to exact revenge, then I'm going to be like, this thing I said isn't true is true because it did happen. No, see, because I just tried to I tried to pull like a Steve will do it, which was just like make random shit up about someone for like drama and like fucking like like I was a drug dealer. Right? I never actually sold drugs, mm -hmm. but it was a hilarious joke for time. Mm -hmm. And Jeffy then I was Thomas. like, yeah, that's not really what I do. So I took it back. You know? OK, so so he did not jerk off his dog. That's the official. I don't know, but the poll. Remember, you did that poll and that was pretty damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Here I want. So my here's why I want you here. I want yeah. to show you a video of Andrew Tate. Okay. I want you to just watch this video and then I want you to tell me what you think about it. It's a new video. I just saw it for the well, first. It's not a new video. It's an old video of his from the website. Of the package that he was selling. Yeah. I, I mean, what I mean by new is I just saw it for the first time on Monday. So this is even kind of newly unearthed clip. And it's from Hustler University. So this is what he's, people are paying him to teach uh, young men how to, how to find their way in the world. So make sure you're in a comfortable place here. I'm going to open this up for you. This okay. was very hard to come by, by the way. Um, I've never seen any of this shit. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So it's two it's two minutes and forty seconds, and we edited it uh, together for you. You edited it, or is it straight? Well, no, so no, this, no. They took it off. It's real. Yeah. He, he, so okay, I've seen this video in its original form when it was re-uploaded to YouTube many, many times over. But because it's paywalled content, they oftentimes like DMCA strike it. You know what I mean? He, they, because it's like, it's, it's one of his like, how to start a webcam business. You know how the website that you read from, like the old website before he like deleted yeah. it after people yelled at him and said like, this is sex trafficking. This basically was the accompanying video, like Ty Lopez style video uh, educational web seminar that he, he sold. Does he have a car in the back? And he was like, but look at all these books. Was it one he, of those? He, he doesn't he do did, that. He said, this look at all these bitches. He does do okay. that a little bit, yeah. All right, you ready, dude? You strap yeah, yeah. in, man. Strap in, strap in. Just watch this, and I want your honest take. Here it is. Start saying things like, oh, yeah, but you're always working. I have to do some traveling, and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. Do you, can you hear it okay? Do you have earbuds? It's kind of fuck. Yeah, let me put earphones on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As beautiful as your ear is to stare at, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please work, dude. Yeah. Yeah, this video rules, man. Yeah, I think you're going to love it. All right, you ready? Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's worth the wait. I don't know if these are. These, oh, I get the only pair that has no power, bro. Hold on. No, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, tell me when you're ready. I'll just chat with Hassan. All right. Hey, Hassan. Yeah, are you excited? You think this is gonna be? Oh shit! Dick vision again. I love, I love this angle. <laughs> he doesn't think we're watching, but we. I love, I love Brad. He's just... he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good. I actually like this. This is candid. This is cool. Bro, you and I have to go to his gym. I'd love to. One Sunday, we're just straight up going to his gym. It sounds dope. His new gym. And we're working out there. <laughs> okay, I'm into it. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm gonna secretly put steroids in your food. Hell yeah! No, well, now oral steroids is really bad for you. Yo, Ethan, drink this. <laughs> no, we'll do. We'll do. I'll it's just a, jab you. Free workout. Bro. I'll jab you, and I'll tell you it's the vaccine because oh, you know you're oh, a liberal, so you then love like, vaccines. Okay, dope. Thanks, bro. You'll be like, yeah, give me more of the vaccine, please. And the vaccine is <laughs> anabolic steroids. Brad, you good? We we love Brad. Here. I'm getting my mom vibes. Yeah, yeah. He, nice he, he stealing. Took the, he took the. Okay. He took the air. What happened? He took the pods yeah. out. Oh shit. Yeah, they weren't working. They weren't connected. So this, I'm gonna go in this room right here. Okay, it's cool. Night. The the roof looks great, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Okay. 
Hold Good. on, check this out. How do I spin this around? Okay, real quick. Yeah, no, it's lit. God damn. Shit, bro. How do you fit all of oh, fucking all those people in there? I mean, dude, it's it, it it's giving me like real New Jersey gym vibes in a good way though, not in a bad way. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. All right. All right. Cool. All right. I'm, here we go. This is good. This is worth it. You're gonna love this. Here we go. Then you start saying things like, "Oh yeah, but you're always working. I have to do some traveling, and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing about this business is mobile." If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Oh, and you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Work for you doing what? So I'll have a webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen, come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear it from a girl. And this is where you're going to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not going to pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. You need to tell your girl that you're paying the tax. Because girls are lazy and girls are stupid and girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we've made this much money, but I'm going to pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One is another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. It's a control element. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I'd give them three. And I'd keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50% but we had to pay the tax first and then it's 50-50. If they say, why is it 50-50? Because I'm the one on camera. You say, because I'm the one typing. I'm the one with the, the property you're working in. I'm the one paying the bills, the electricity. I'm the one who's, uh, and the electricity and every other maintenance cost of this property. I'm the one who bought the equipment. I'm the one who knows what he's doing. I'm the one with the knowledge. I'm the da 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 Shut the fuck up, go online. And they should be pretty happy with that if they respect you as a person overall. So really you're paying 30, you tell them you're paying 50. The difference is in the tax. That's where the disparity lies, taxes. If, you, if they don't believe you or they want to get fresh or whatever, print out some tax forms. I used to do this all the time. I used to print out some random tax forms and say, yeah, sign here and sign this. What is it? It's for the tax. You want to pay the tax or not? Oh, okay. And they just sign away. I don't know what they're fucking signing. I'll throw them away afterwards. But they, they think something's happening. Something real is happening. Nothing's happening besides so me getting rich, bitch. Oh, is that it? <laughs> so let's. Re so I just want to summarize. So, um, part one is he's. The the part one is the the most like uh the the most serious one, which is like I I've said this before, but like he did do the same thing like low budget jeffrey epstein thing basically where jeffrey epstein had galen maxwell and he would use galen maxwell to like coerce the women into sex trafficking um and he's basically doing the same thing he's like you need to have your first like loyal uh bottom bitch i guess is what he's come saying. with you come with you to like uh, tell them. these women like look how look yeah. how easy it is look how great it is like yeah. that that creates a sense of security um, and then, uh, and then you just lie to them, well, <laughs> you what, lie to them, you, you garnish their wages and you pay them, uh, significantly less than what you're actually telling, uh, what they're actually making. You lie to them and say that you're paying their taxes when you're not. That's fraud, by the way. Yeah. All of that um, is fraudulent. Yeah. And also here's, printing here's out, favorite. go ahead. Oh here's yeah. Me. Go ahead, Brad. I can't wait. This is what I find really interesting. Listen, go ahead. Obviously. <sighs> Go ahead. It, so my question is this. Speak your heart. These people, these girls who are willingly doing this to make money, right? We have to we have to show that they did not want to do this in order for it to be considered sex trafficking or no? Um, it, so Because so, at some point, wouldn't this be a girl who's like, I have no money. This guy has a plan. Yes, he's obviously based on this clip. He's a very shrewd business person, which I would consider most of the people that I've ever done business with are So do well. you think, well, hold on, let me ask you this. Do you think being a shrewd business person is 
stealing 20% from your employee and lying to no, them no, and no, then no, printing no, out no. fraudulent tax forms? Well, technically, no, he's just no, doing no, capitalism. No, no. So, so there, there obviously is, there are issues with this for sure. But my question ultimately goes, yeah. does that person, regardless of that, is she being forced to do this or is she willingly do this, right? Now, the other thing that I, I just want to point out before we go further in this, um, and, and this has nothing really to do with the actual stitch against Andrew Tate, the trafficking stuff for the accusations, but the fact that we're also talking about another person who has been like, I don't know if they're, they're re relinquished of these issues or this, this Maxwell chick, if she's just walking around on earth, killing. but like, I hope the thing that gets me about all this is that Andrew Tate is such a big figure and such a, such a massive character that like it's really fun to make content and all the stuff around him because it gets it's viral and it goes people get views but how can we don't have the same energy towards people we know that are on some fucking list somewhere that we never wait, get who? to know about who why don't we go towards that who why don't we clickbait every fucking title about wait wait wait, wait. who are you talking about i'm just talking about the fact that we're sitting here discussing this andrew tate thing which i understand can be an issue and is an issue right now right but he's fun to make content about yeah at the same time we're talking about someone maxwell who's still alive. Who she's wasn't in jail. Suicided. Well, she did what? go to jail. She's in jail, bro. But, but I, I mean, you're, you're talking to someone who has made a lot of content about Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, but I, I, I still make a lot of content wait. about Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. I talk about this sort of stuff all the time. Wait, We've talked wait, about it on wait, Leftovers, on. too. I'm mind gobbed by you at this point. What, why should I talk more about Ghislaine Maxwell? I'm talking about why don't we know more about the people who are on that list? Well, I'm sure... The clients of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, unfortunately, uh, were were are probably never going to be uh, unsealed. That's just their. Well, that's my thing, right? That's the thing. Look, I understand. No, I, I get that. That might be real, but it's like we're making all this content around that um, around Tate because it's viral, right? We're not making content around that kind of stuff because because of the shit. Truthfully, that I believe well, Tate has been. No, that, that's not for. true. That's not true. I, I, I'm telling you, I make plenty of content about Ghislaine Maxwell. I made plenty of content about Ghislaine Maxwell as well. Not just that. It's the rest of the world. The rest of the world doesn't Brad, give a fuck about it. Let me, let me explain uh, from my perspective. Uh, you, first of all, you can care about two things at once, right? 100%. Okay, okay. So, so we acknowledge that. So, and then at the same time, Andrew Tate's influence is as big as people talk about him. For so, sure. Okay, so that, 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 in my opinion, explains why people talk about him so much. Because there's so many people that still support him. And to go back to the video, here's him saying, now consent, now outwardly getting someone's consent, uh, there's, like, if you look at, like, what Jeffrey Epstein was charged for, you could make the same argument. Like, the girls came by their own free will. They said, hey, come do a massage. We're going to pay you money. And then he ended up being like, hey, you got to jerk me off now. They could have left. They didn't force them to stay. It's coercion, right? It's false pretense. So if Andrew Tate is innocent, then so is Jeffrey Epstein. You understand that point? Like, Because I'm pretty familiar with the crimes of Epstein and what went down in these massages. He sent G. Lane to recruit girls. He used other girls to recruit girls. They come in, they start giving him a massage, and then he'd flip over and take his dick out and like horrify them and see if they jerk him off. Like legit, that was his mo. And so you could, That's you so could, crazy. what? Yeah. So you could easily it's say, so well, they they could have left. They could have left. They, could, I mean, a lot of them were underage, so that's a different point. But you could say they could have left. Okay. Now listen, I'll, I'll respond to that. I understand what you're saying, but now we're talking about a woman who's making a lot of money versus making no money, not just jerking someone off on a massage. What? Now we're talking about, we're talking about, from, from what I understand, Tate is talking about is getting a woman, yes, he's making a lot of money off of her and leveraging her. She's also making a lot of money. You're relating that to someone jerking someone off. I don't know how much money she's making. No. So I don't know. Here's, the, here's, the, here's the other side of that. A lot of what will, I believe, come out from this investigation is uh, what is similar to what happened with Nexium? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Yeah, Nexium, which is a uh, which was also built around a cult of personality, uh, who is now an imprisoned racketeer and sex offender, Keith Rainier. Now that guy also did like motivational videos or like motivational seminars, and then he basically built a sex cult uh, uh, on top of that on the side, and he would do the same thing. He had like a bottom bitch. 
and then he would go and like find <coughs> other women and like bring them in. He even had some famous celebrities uh, involved in his cult as well. And yeah. and it is identical where you you get these women to basically leave everything behind, sometimes come to a different area, a different location like Romania, right? You take them out of Moldova, you take them out of like the United States, you take them out of the UK, and you fly them in. They become so dependent now they're in, on you. Yeah, they're entirely they're, dependent yeah, on you. Yeah. And because you're controlling all of their wages and you are demonstrating that you are lying to them about what kind of wages they have, you also put them in a debt trap. You're like, oh, well, here is how much the webcam is and, and all this other shit is that I'm paying for. So you have to like basically pay me back for the room and board, the lodging services. This was all uncovered in the original press release from the investigation. And it's pretty basic stuff, pretty common stuff. Like one, you coerce them uh, originally not to, to do sex work. But specifically as like a girlfriend, right? To move them. You you yeah. then you That's move the them and you shit. separate them from their friends and family, and they're entirely dependent on you. In certain instances, he even branded them with tattoos. Um, that was another thing. Like he literally did the exact same thing that Nexium and the sex cult did as well. Nexium also branded their their members uh, as well, like the the victims, and. Um, and you you break them down and make them entirely dependent on you while simultaneously saying like I am your I'm your meal ticket You don't know anything. You're in a new country. I am your I'm your shelter. I'm your food I'm your meal ticket your entire life belongs to me So now shut the fuck up and do my bidding and his bidding happens to be webcamming even if it wasn't webcamming It would still be like illegal also, he, he even he, if it wasn't sex work, it would still be illegal. Also, he's violent. You've seen the video of him beating the shit out of that woman, right? He tells people that was like role play. Yeah, I've seen it, but I feel like didn't I see the same girl come out and say like, "Oh, this wasn't." No, there were same multiple. Same no, 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 no. There was one girl. Oh, there, was. There, there. So I think he's like half into BDSM as well. Uh, I I originally talked about that as well, but um, the one of the victims uh, said, "I'm not a victim. This is BDSM. Like I'm into it." Right. But there were others who uh, never came out in a similar uh, in a similar light. There were multiple different people that he had uh, beaten on camera. I, I, I want to make a point because, like, I just want to talk to kind of what you believe or what you're saying. Because we're saying, okay, we have to prove that there was no consent, right? That's how we that's how we end this conversation. So, so do you un so coercion, right? Do you think that coercion? If you coerce someone to come work for you, is that the same as consent, do you think? I mean, obviously, coercion is not the same as consent. Two different complete things. Can you consent under coercion? Like, like, can you actually consent to a situation that you're being misled about? You know what I mean? Because you're agreeing to one thing, but it's entirely a different thing. Like Andrew Tate and some of these reports, he, these girls, he was saying, come over, let's get married, I want to be with you. Then they'd get there and he'd get him into cam work and fucking forget about him. And you know what I mean? Like he never he never had the intention of being in a relationship with them. That's the lover boy thing. So can you consent to something uh, that you don't under that you're being misled about? It's, you know, it's this is obviously if you're being if you're being coerced into something, you can't just consent. I've been in situations where I've had to consent to things that I knew I was being coerced in, but like there were other things that were forcing me to have to consent to them because of timing or because of like, for example, I mean, I can't give too much detail because this is, would be put me in legal trouble with like other shit. But um, yeah, I've been in situations where I had to consent even though there was coercion because I also needed it to work out the way that I needed it to work out. So yeah, not, yeah, there can be other there can be other yeah. components like you don't you there can be other components where like you're not giving enthusiastic consent. So ultimately what ends up uh being an important piece of this puzzle is like having enough victims come out and offer personal testimony. Um there will always be like in the Nexium sex cult situation, people who still say, "No, he did not groom me. I wanted to do this." I love him and you know I got branded by him and it's a, it's a sh it's a show of loyalty. Now, that literally still remains for Keith Rainier. These people went to the the Brooklyn or I don't know where he's actually being held, but like they the went way, to well, his prison and they they have been still actively 
They've been actively defending him. Some of the victims that were groomed into being in the sex cult still actively defend Keith Rainier. It will happen right with now, Andrew Tate I don't as well. Know anything about Keith Rainier or any of this? <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is just a, this I've is just another. I'm just using a parallel here of like grooming, yeah. sexual abuse, and like having a sex cult because it's like well, nearly I, I identical. I think Epstein's the best because it's so similar to what they're doing. It really is. Yeah. But but like I guess so. Not all coercion is illegal. Let's go back to that, right? Because we all coerce people and are coerced in our lives, right? Well, persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. I mean, you could call it persuasion, right? And that happens to all of us. It's not always illegal. But just imagine you meet the girl of your dreams. She's rich. She's awesome. She loves you. She wants to marry you. And I'm she, already not buying it. I'm already not buying it. I'll be honest with you. Okay. It's a little different for a guy. Head. It's a little different. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's a little different, but just, just, uh, just play, just be with me here for a second. In, okay. in your imagination, would you want to imagine you're a petite, hot little 20 year old? Cause I can do it that way. If, the, if that's better. <laughs> yeah, so okay, funny. you be I'm yourself. Sorry. You be Bradley. You be Bradley. <laughs> okay, so there's this soup, the girl of your dreams. She says, Also, let's pretend you have no prospects. You're like young, you don't have a job, you're kind of lost, you don't have a lot going on. And so this girl, she goes, I've got a super exciting life. I've got all this money. I'm in love with you. Actually, I want to marry you. Come to Romania and be with no, me. I can't, I can't even take this serious because it doesn't even happen, bro. You would think this that? Like, wait, are, 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 you, are you making fun of the situation bro, I've created, or do you think this doesn't happen in real life? For men, I mean, like, I can never because I'm from my perspective. I can never imagine my like my 100 percent beautiful. This is exactly what I want: being rich and having all this shit, and then them coming to me and me having nothing. And then being like, I want to marry you. I just can never okay. see that happen. So, so let's pretend you're the tw hot 20 year old. Uh... Okay. So I'm doing now. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. So you're, okay, so, so you got nice. So put yourself in the plate. You got nice curves, fat titties, <laughs> huge ass, bro. I mean, it doesn't even have to be all that. You're, oh, you're, on, you're, wait, you're 20 something years old and you have no prospects in your life. Okay. And someone tells you they're going to change your life there. Someone tells you they love you. You fall in love with them, and then they basically tell you that, like, uh, you know, if you fly out here and live with me, I'll put you in a nice house, I'll put you in a fucking mansion, I'll serve you the best caviar, the best food, I'll give you all the anabolic steroids Wait, you I need. I enjoying making him imagine he has okay. beautiful lip, kissable lips. I'm lip. just saying, like, because that's like, it's going to take him out Very of the conversation clean, a little bit. Very clean, straight, I'm lush just, hair. I'm gonna be no, you. I'm putting him in the spot. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm the kind of person, if someone told me that, I'd be like, bullshit. I'm not buying it. Bro, you can't. You, I'm not buying especially it. if you're, especially if you're vulnerable though, like, and you don't have any prospects, and you trust Bro, this listen, person fully. Wait, 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 hold can on. I just wanted. To, uh, yes, but once I just have one follow up. So you're saying you can't imagine a situation where a girl is coerced by someone like Andrew Tate to move there under no, false pretense. I can't imagine being a girl knowing what I know. I can't imagine putting myself in that situation and believing that to be true. Even when I was younger, let me tell you guys a story. I was, I was in my early 20s, and I was broke as fuck. I lived in my car. I lived in my car. I got offered $8,000 to fuck some dude's wife in Beverly Hills. I didn't do it because I was like, this is a, this is a weird situation that I don't want to be involved in. I needed the money. I had no money. I lived in my car. And I didn't do it because I was like, this didn't feel right. What I'm saying is, no matter what, my mind would never have worked that way where I go, oh, I'm just going to give in to this situation. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm asking you to use your imagination for a minute. But but a lot of these, well, by the way, part of the reason why you didn't want to do that. I know is you because, wouldn't fall for Wait, hold on. Bro. This is a great, no, no, no. This is a great analogy. This is actually awesome. So <laughs> part of that was because you thought it was weird, right? Part of that is because you thought it was unethical, but there was also a, there was also a security issue there, right? Like you felt a little vulnerable because like, you don't know what the fuck this guy's going to do. He might like chop you up, drug you, right? Or yeah. jerk off or I've been in a, well. I've been in a weird situ. I've been in weird situations like that oh. as well. Where like uh, I, it. This is important. We're big dudes. We normally don't ever have to think about like uh, or or ever consider like what women have to think about twenty four seven, right? But did you feel uh, like your physical safety might be compromised in a similar situation? Because like you don't know the environment. Well, yeah. I mean, I could also know. Like, I don't know what's going on, but it's exactly. Time. Exactly. I, I've been in not like an identical situation, but I've been in a similar situation before where that actually helped me completely visualize 
like the physical harm element that women go through all the time on dates and stuff. So now, how do you eliminate that? How do you eliminate that physical uh, harm component? You eliminate that by spending enough time so that you trust this person fully. Because if this wasn't a random person, but someone like that you trust fully, and it wasn't like a sex act like that immediately, but instead something lighter and like a friend of yours basically saying like, I'm going to change your life. I'm going to fucking, you know, a, a girl that you're in love with saying, we're going to change your life. We're going to make it so much better. And it wasn't like fucking some dude's wife, but instead like, you know, first you're going to show your titties on camera. First you're going to, first you're going to like show your, your muscles on camera. And then they slowly but surely like feed you more and more stuff to do over the process of like a month as you are like completely alienated from your friends and family. And you're now living in this new area where you have no you you have you know your access to shelter and everything else is directly linked to this one person that you trust fully you're not even going to think about it even if they like take your they can take your passport away and say hey this is for your own safety you know you might he lose that, it by the way which uh again according to the investigation yeah. that was uh, he was uh, taking you know a passport. part of that um what i'm trying to say is like uh even if you as a big intimidating guy uh, have a hard time understanding that. I feel like if someone in when you were when you were financially in a vulnerable situation, if someone had like come to you under false pretenses and made you fall in love with them, and then basically started like pushing your boundaries and easing you into it, you probably would have been able to do something. Maybe not like be the bull in a cuck in a cuckolding situation, but like you know easily find yourself doing like sexual acts on webcams or whatever you know what i mean slowly but surely we're just trying to explain how like coercion can be i mean it is illegal right like how that's human yeah, trafficking because yeah. it's hard to say because you're we're, you guys are looking for something that's like she said no and he locked and he handcuffed her and locked her to the pipe you know the radiator right like that that's what you want that's what you want to say Okay, this guy's a human trafficker, but it's actually it's more. That's nuanced not how that than works. That. Yeah, yeah, it, it is nuanced. never how that works. I mean, it, it, that is how that works in some instances, but like the way more common <coughs> method is literally this, where you like slowly but surely feed these people lies, and you tell them you're in love with them, and then when they're like completely trapped in your uh, in your scheme that you've like concocted, at that point it doesn't even matter, and if they ever. If they ever step out of line, you can even, you know, give them physical threats, uh, you know, implied threats, physical coercion, or even in certain instances, beat them. As, and especially if you're like into BDSM, quote unquote, and have like shown that you have the capacity to beat some of these women, then, you know, you kind of trap them in that situation where they just don't want to, they love you. They're in an abusive relationship with you. They don't want to, they don't want to offend you. They don't want to upset you. You're their entire world. And you're betraying that trust by forcing them into doing things that um, they may have wanted to do originally, but they have no other option now. They don't even have the option. I guess that's that that's uh, it's a little bit nuanced. But what Hassan is describing is actually illegal. It's coercion, and it's that is actually human trafficking. That's the lover boy thing that resonated with you. I mean, that's yeah. kind of a nuanced so, explanation. So you guys think you guys think he's fucked. I do. Like a hundred percent. I um, I, mean, I don't I mean I don't know if he's one hundred percent fucked, but he has openly talked about his methods. He always stops short. Every single video I've seen of him talk about his process of like how to get girls to do webcam stuff. He always stops short of like openly <laughs> stating how to keep your bitch in line. You know what I mean? He he'll be he'll I've heard him say numerous times, you know the methods, you know what to do. But, like, I won't be saying them here. Like, he'll always say shit like that. But if you are being physically abusive, if you are being, if you are intimidating people like this, and, and you know, some of the, the women that you, you cast this wide net on are going to inevitably come out in an investigation like this and, and validate those claims, those claims that you have uh, made freely. Okay, let's, I think, uh, listen... And then the other component is the rape one, like the sexual assault and, and rape. Let, let, me, let, let, let me come from a different angle, up, Brad. And by the way, this is a good conversation. You know what I mean? Don't feel bad that you can express yourself and feel how you want. 
you know, this is a judgment free zone. And, uh, and, uh, like Planet Fitness? What? Like Planet Fitness? Like Planet Fitness, those motherfuckers. Long- Wait, what? Because Planet Fitness is a judgment free zone. Just we don't let, fa- we don't let fatties in the zoo. <laughs> Lung, it's a, it, the zoo is not a lunk free zone. The zoo is a the, the zoo is a lunk only zone. What's a lunk? Yeah. Isn't that what they say at Planet Fitness? A lunk? What's a lunk? Yeah, a lunk oh, alarm. they have a lunk alarm. Yeah. Yeah. When Wait, you drop the... weights, oh, I mean, if you're fucking deadlifting four plates, you're gonna fucking make some noise. They have a okay? lunk alarm. Yeah, they get mad at you if yeah. you if you drop. Do you weight. allow lunking at your gym, Bradley? I guess if we're considering deadlifting lunking, then yeah. <laughs> For sure. You can lunk <laughs> over there, bro. That is a zoo. That's why I want to, yeah. All right, Bradley, there's one other thing I want to show you. And, and, you know, I'm sorry. It probably feels like um, that we're barraging you, right? It's fine. I don't give a fuck. Come here. So I'm going gonna, gonna to try to put it in, like, simpler, <clears throat> more direct way. So you know why he was going back. You know he was kicked off Big Brother back in the day. You know about all that? I know that he was. I know that he was on it. I, I didn't know. I don't know the details around it. No, I don't know enough. So about he was on Big Brother, and it, he was actually popular there. Uh, people were liking him because obviously, for obvious reasons, right? He's a, he's crazy. He's got a big personality. He's funny. Yeah. Now he mysteriously left the show, and nobody knew why. This is all a matter of fact. Vice reported they gotten they got a hold of the producers. And the producers confirmed that the reason they booted him is because there was an investigation ongoing in the UK for him committing rape. Okay? He, wa- he wasn't charged for it, but this is what happened, okay? Now, now so, so now I'm going forward. The girl who um, went to the police and said, this guy raped me, uh, sent these voice messages to Vice. So I just want to play the voice mess, the voice notes that Andrew Tate was sending her, and that she turned okay, over. Hold on a second. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Are these the voice notes? I've listened. I, I all I want to say is I think I might have heard this shit, and I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it, this sounds like some AI shit. <laughs> it does. The first, the first few seconds does sound weird, but like it doesn't matter. It's co- it corresponds to like actual investigations that were conducted in the UK. I mean, they they got um, this. Yeah, this is real. They got it but from that's the just, girl. That's just how different mics make you sound different. That's it. And and it's not just that, but it's it corroborates eyewitness testimony of multiple people in the UK at the time. There was an official investigation that they dropped and i will give you details on that but here you you listen to this then yeah, right yeah, i know what Bro, you mean I, i've seen fucking elon musk talk about some shit he didn't talk about with some ai technology no this isn't here. first of all it's not ai because there's literally actual human beings accompanying the the you know the whatsapp conversations let me just say this the girl yeah the girl who sent this device sent it to the police the police report did happen. The investigation did happen. So that it does sound a little funny, right? It does sound a little bit like uh, uh, at first AI it sounds, generated. At first it sounds it does, weird. Right. But that's also like mic difference. There's also like 2015 phone mic, WhatsApp. And I think all part of it is things. that they're edited really close together. So it sounds a little unnatural. But what's important is that it's corroborated by the police, by the girl, by the big brother. So all this stuff did happen, right? And this is what the girl sent Vice News, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does, it does. I, listen, I'm not trying to de- sit here and just defend this guy. I'm telling you at the same time though, like police, like all these people, like I just feel like at the same time, like all of this, like he's, uh, I don't know how to say this. I know you're not defending him. I'm just seeing if I can break through. That's all. Did you know? It's the first, Matrix, bro. No, it's not the Matrix because uh, here's the here's the other part of this that like I think should be mentioned more frequently. In the UK, in England, and in Wales, there was an internal review that was conducted about police mishandling sexual assault cases. What happened to this girl uh, is one of those instances. There's empirical evidence for this. They botched thousands of cases and refused to prosecute them, including cases where like cops themselves were in uh, uh, doing uh, sexual abuse personally. 
Um, this is actually a big a big piece of the puzzle here, which is ironic because Andrew Tate was like, oh, I'm going to Romania because in the UK you can get into trouble for, uh, you know, assaulting someone. or uh, It's just a he said, she said situation and it's fucked up. But like the reason why they dropped the ball on this case is because they dropped the ball on thousands of instances of sexual assault and they always ended up saying, well, it seems like you wanted it. It seems like you were asking for it. Like yeah. that was straight up the official response uh, in, in, you know, the, the, I'm, it's a big, I'm paraphrasing it, it's a, little a bit. big scandal. You can read about it, but I, I want to talk to like basically something that, so, so you, sorry, you were making a point and then we keep going off on, on tangents, but I want to hear your opinion. Wait, 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 I want to hear this. Okay. Shit. Okay. Wait, All right. So, so yeah, here it is. But now hundreds of cops are Am about I a to get bad fired. person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I fucking loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Why am I like that? Why? I am one of the most dangerous men on this planet. Sometimes you forget exactly how lucky you were to get fucked by me. Would you rather me pin you down and make you do things you didn't like, or would you rather fuck You didn't like that I was thinking I can do whatever I want to you. That's what it is. I'm the smartest person on this fucking planet. Are you seriously so offended I strangled you a little bit? You didn't fucking pass out. Chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ. I thought you were cool. What's wrong with you? So, I mean. Am I a bad person? It, it, it's interesting that this girl says she was R-worded and went to the police. Right. You're yeah. saying this girl, this girl, there's some girl attached to the other side of this. Yeah. That got this, like, look at my WhatsApp messages or some shit. She sent it to the police. And to Vice News. She originally she went to, to the police yeah, first yeah. in like a couple of years prior, right? Uh, after being in a relationship with this person. All right. And obviously rape and domestic abuse does not happen in the way that like people <coughs> presented in movies where it's like a random stranger. That happens as well. But the most common instance of rape and domestic abuse is like within close partners family. in a relationship, family members, things like that. Now, for that reason, they originally didn't do anything with it. But... In 2015, another victim came out. <laughs> so a second police investigation was conducted into the matter. So they brought her back, the original uh, victim. They brought her back in and they said, would you testify? And she said, yes, of course I would. So she testified. She gave all the WhatsApp uh, messages. She gave all the, the audio recordings from WhatsApp to the police. The police saw all of this and the other uh, testimony of the other uh, 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 victim and ended up dropping the case. The prosecutor decided not to to follow through with this investigation. Because she as they had it. done, as they had done thousands of times over. So much so that an investigation recently was conducted into police mishandling sexual abuse cases in the UK. And now hundreds of English police officers are facing dismissal over sexual and domestic abuse offenses because they just never prosecuted it. It was a systemic problem but in the UK. Th the point, I think, is that you're looking for is that this is a real voice note. I don't know if you have enough information to believe that, but it is corroborated by Vice News and the police and Big Brother producers. The reason why I'm mentioning the other side of this uh, with, like, police dropping the ball on this and the evidence for that is because a lot of people look at this and go, how the fuck, if they had this much evidence... They didn't no. prosecute it. I agree. That's like, it's that's, important. That's what doesn't make any fucking sense to a lot of people I've talked to about it. I agree. It. And, but like, so they have too much plausible deniability, the tater tots. So I want to nail, I want to just focus on one, the minutia here a little bit, or it's not really minutia. It's the meat of the thing. So do you, do you have reservations about this voice note? If this vote, 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 that, if this voice note is real, let's assume, what does it say to you? Assuming it's real. I, mean, I can't assume that it's real. It just make some shit up about an assumption of realness or not. I mean, he sent, he sent me a voice note before on WhatsApp. He didn't sound like that. What do you mean it sounds like? Yeah, but bro. that's from, again, remember, this is from 2015. First of all, here's one thing I can tell you. All right, artifacting all right, bro, artifacting always matrix? happens. No, no, no. Brad, do you believe in the matrix? No, 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 no. Artifacting always happens. No, but here, I'll explain it in the easiest way possible. Please, Ethan, let me explain he, this. He, he's not, it does, it's no, not going to do anything, because bro. No, because I... I Look, the reality is, if this voice note, if this voice note was fake, AI 
technology in 2015 was not capable of deep faking voices to the degree that they are now. You're thinking with your brain in 2023. No, but Brad thinks it was made recently. And, and it's it, not. Yeah, it's Brad not, thinks it was made recently. I know, but there is there is metadata in voice Brad notes like this. Brad hasn't seen the metadata. I know, but like, right, Brad? But even if Brad saw the metadata, he would not understand it. I wouldn't even understand no, the metadata. No, but Brad needs to see the WhatsApp messages. Right on the phone, somebody's scrolling. Like you want to see, like that shit's the real. Point, like, the that. point is, the I'm point is, Sam, you're level, never gonna have that. Yeah, the the level of the level of evidence that you need <coughs> in a lot of these instances, you're never going to get. You're not gonna get access to all the fucking information. You didn't have that for Jeffrey Epstein, but you believe it. Why? Because you understand that, like, one, you understand human motivation, and two, you understand that, like, uh, institutions that go through this stuff will oftentimes do their due diligence, right? And I believe that the British police did their due diligence to know that this was valid. But that's not the reason why they dropped the case. They didn't say they dropped this case they, because the voice notes were fake. Because they would have said that. They no, dropped they the case. They just didn't care. They just, if the they voice care. note was fake, why wouldn't they just come out and say, well, the voice note is fake, and that's why we dropped the case. They didn't say that, though. They said they're dropping the case because they did not think that they they uh they did not think that they could set up Bro, a, it's a deep fake good enough Just accept it you're it, like in denial right brad if it was a deep fake the british police would have said it's a deep fake and that's why we dropped it no they wouldn't say shit it was <laughs> yes, made would. It, no it was made recently and sent to vice to deceive people like me and you the sheep in the matrix agents <laughs> to believe it's fake right brad I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. Don't know. And how can we ever know? No, I'm. I'm. How but, can we ever know anything? I'm literally. I'm giving. I'm giving Bradley the benefit of the doubt Brad, here. How can we know anything? To why? Trying you to describe to him so why funny. it doesn't make no, sense. No, 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 no. I'm trying. Brad, how do you? How do we know anything? Like it's just at the end of the day, Hassan, answer that. <sighs> Yo, you're you're such a dumb fuck, dude. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm riding with you now, Brad. Fuck it. No. <laughs> I gotta see those texts, bro. I gotta, you know what? I gotta see a video of Andrew filming himself speaking into a phone. And even then, Bradley, the technology is pretty fucking crazy these days. Like that could be fake too, to be honest. Okay, we have to, we have to, we have to trust that. Like, we have to trust that. For example, you know, things that we read have to be valid. There are uh, numerous. There are numerous safeguards uh, when you read like a New York Times article, even though they do have the capacity to fucking uh, print something that's untrue. They redact it like I don't like the New York Times. I'm not a big fan of major media, <laughs> but there is a there is a method that like they go through when they're investigating certain things. And if you didn't believe that, then like everything you believe, you have to see with your own. You're missing the point, eye. bro. How do you even know that letters are real? How do you even know even that lying, newspaper man. you're holding is real? I'm not going to lie to you, like, I really don't believe any of this media may There it is, bro. Thank you, Bradley. I'm with Bradley. I'm taking his... If I'm just being honest, like, I know they're, they're... I'm not saying nothing is real, nothing is true. Yeah. But based on my experience, it's not even about this Tate shit. Just, like... Actually, I'm curious. I talk about media literacy all the time. This is a fundamental problem, okay? A lot of people, understandably, do not trust mainstream media, which is adequate. I don't trust mainstream media either. What, what you need to understand is what are their biases? You have to, for example, state news like Al Jazeera or even the BBC, they do a pretty good job of covering other countries' news, like when they're covering America. They're oftentimes more objective when covering America. But I will never trust Al Jazeera when they're covering Qatar because it's the fucking state broadcaster and they're always going to lie about their own state. Okay, so you have to pinpoint what their biases might be, dude. They all and why they cover Andrew Tate. They it's, and why the they cover things in a certain way. Andrew Tate, right, Brad? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, I just know I see a lot of shit. Yeah, we don't believe any. They, they're not biased against Andrew Tate. Andrew I'm, Tate is a low-level no, no, no. criminal. Like they're they don't all, give a shit. No, they hate him because he's because he's speaking to men, right, Brad? A part of it. I think there's yeah. a part of it. There. It's not they, like I don't they, know about all of it. Yeah, they don't like him because he's speaking to men. Men, Hassan. No, that's that's just crazy. There's so many people that speak to men that are just as big pieces of shit as Andrew Tate is, but they're not fucking like if that was the case, Steven Crowder would be getting false charges for rape and sexual assault and sex trafficking. Wait. Ben Shapiro would be getting that. There are plenty no, of Jordan Andrew Peterson Tate's more dangerous that. than them, right, Brad? No, he's not. He well, doesn't even let Brad answer. 
I don't think about necessarily more 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 dangerous than that. I just think it's more like he's the most popular thing to right. talk about. Period. Right. So I look at. I just think there is some biases around the fact that like you can look at any of the content and all the content that discusses Tate just gets more views, more everything. Like there is something relevant to that that all news sources understand and know, just like YouTubers understand and know and Twitch streamers understand and know. Yeah. They're talking about something that's current. And there's, we're all making money from that. You are, I am, views, yes. Twitter, uh, the media. I mean, you say that about ads, Jeffrey Epstein, like covering Jeffrey Epstein's trial is making me money. And therefore, what are my biases against Jeffrey Epstein? You know no, what no, I mean? No. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen, Go, you, can look, you can look at your views. The amount you cover Jeffrey Epstein, the amount you cover Andrew Tate, I guarantee you add those views up, Tate double, triples your views. Bro, That's not true. When, when, when Jeffrey Epstein was relevant before he was you know, suicide. That's my point. You look, look, I'm going to stop you right there. You just yeah. nailed it. When Jeffrey Epstein was relevant, you were making more money off of Jeffrey Epstein and talking about him. Now that he's not as relevant. Now that he's dead. I mean, he's shut dead. Shut the fuck up. He's dead. He's why the ongoing. fuck? No, hold on, Hassan. What? After he died, why'd you stop talking about him, bro? I mean, I still no, do talk about, about him. Regularly. Oh, it's not? It's not about talking about him specifically. It's about talking all the other shit that's still hidden behind Why are him? you not talking about the people, the client list, right, Brad? That's a that's a piece. That's a that's a piece of it, Hassan. What about the that's client a list? Piece of it. I'm on no your side, bro. It. It's too big. It's too much. To, too it's much too to, big. No, you uh, talk about right. Andrew because you can't. You People can't say this. First of all, you can focus list. on two things at the same time. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about like. But this is not an argument, okay? Of course, sure. you're going to talk about ongoing injustices if there is an ongoing injustice happening, okay? If Andrew Tate has an active investigation being conducted, then of course I'm going to talk about that instead of the guy who has been dead now for many fucking years. Ghislaine's alive. Well, I've talked about Gisla Ghislaine as well. If it's not even about that. It's about the fact that there is for sure a list of people that they know damn well exactly who the fuck they are and no one talks about it. So I know you're saying it's not as current, it's not as relevant, the guy's dead. Regardless of that fact, there's still a list of people who did the same shit. Yeah, bro. And they they, or they gave in to the same type of thing that we're talking about. They did the bad. same fucking thing as Andrew Tate. Not and the they're walking thing. free, aren't I they? I know, but that's not a defense for Andrew oh, oh, Tate. Wait, that wait, just wait. means other people <laughs> are... <laughs> Listen to me. That just means I'm other people are doing the shit. Listen. Listen, I'm not defending what Andrew Tate did or did not do. I'm not defending this. I'm defending the fact that there are still a bunch of scumbag motherfuckers who are walking around just fine as day, and we're not making any content about them because we're not making money, no one gives a fuck because everyone's dead at it, they stopped talking about it, but that still exists, that trauma okay. still exists for all those people who have yes. talked about those people, okay. and now they can't talk about shit. No Bradley, about Bradley, this doesn't make any sense, and here's why, okay? If Go someone ahead. goes out and murders someone, okay? If someone goes out and murders another human being, and there's an active investigation being conducted into that murder, but the person happens to be fucking famous, so everyone is covering it, uh, that famous person can't turn around and go, well, other people are murdering other people. Why the fuck are you talking about my murder case? Well, That's it's not like, what I'm saying, though, Hassan. Yeah, That's dude. not what I'm saying at all. Try listening, bro. I am talking, we're talking about two separate things. Have all the hate or hurrah towards take. I don't give a fuck. It's, right. not, it's irrelevant to me. Right. I'm saying at the same time, there's still a whole group of people that did dirt, that it's just like, we'll just forget about it. Right. Okay, but you're... So I'm not saying you can't have both. You can right, have both. Right, you right, right. He's saying, it. Bradley's saying, keep the same energy, right, Brad? That's all but, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's okay, right. so what, yeah, what about saying. someone who does keep the same energy? Because I do keep the same energy. You know what I mean? I, I do. I keep the same energy for, for all of these instances. Well, according to Brad, and I, Brad, I think I'm going to represent you well here. He says, if you add up the time from the G-Lane shit... And you add up the Tate time, the energy ain't the same, right, Brad? No, it's not that the energy ain't the same. The views aren't the same. The views aren't ain't the same, brother. His that energy, Hassan's energy might be exactly the same. Because I don't think Hassan is the kind of person that just goes, well, I just want to hit on Andrew Tate because I just want to hate on Andrew Tate. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just talking about the relevancy of the fucking views. And then it leads us as content creators to make more content towards it, which I understand is why we're having this conversation today. I know, but that doesn't change. <laughs> but but you're not. But we're not talking now about the details of the investigation and whether or not Andrew Tate did it or not. We're just simply sure. having a we're just simply having a conversation about like, of course, someone who is more famous or more <laughs> culturally relevant than Ghislaine Maxwell getting more clicks and more eyeballs. Yes. 
if it came out tomorrow that Brad Pitt was fucking sex trafficking people, then that would be Whoa. infinitely more uh, relevant than Brad Andrew Pitt Tate do? even sex trafficking people. I'm not saying he did. I'm saying like, oh. yeah, he's a very famous Wait, person. Who did Brad Pitt? So of course traffic? everyone would fucking talk about it. Like the that, but that is completely that is materially irrelevant to the facts of the matter. And I think a lot of people, without realizing get into like a deflection mechanism, a, a deflection mode to like bring this up as in an effort to like find hypocrisy somewhere. But there is no hypocrisy there. Yes, if famous people commit crimes, more people talk about it because they are famous. That doesn't change the reality of whether a crime was committed or not. And that no, is I'm what I'm talking that about. Is. I'm not saying at all that it is. I'm just saying I wish that we were able to go towards that, not just making content about it, but like, there's still clearly a whole group of people who did a ton of dirt that they're just walking around. I, like, I, I agree oh, with let, you. Bradley, let me ask you something. What At what point will you believe something you see or hear? We're talking about news or we're talking about Andrew Tate's voice memos. How can, at what point are you like, this is real? What do you need? I don't, to be honest, man, like that's, that's why this shit's so weird. Like you can't. Yeah. I think because I've had so much mistrust in media in general and I have so much mistrust and even in, even in like the internet and the way people make content on social media and how like I've been lied about countless times on the internet to my dismay to someone else's benefit for, for years. So it's easier for me to, to be able to like, I'm not sitting here trying to defend someone at all, but I can put myself in a position where I've been attacked multiple times for someone else's benefit for someone else's views for someone else's money so it's it's hard for me to believe really anything like and that's the tough part because i'm not a police officer i'm not doing an investigation i'm not talking to these women i'm not in it so i can't make a real assessment to it i will tell you though from my personal experience i've dealt with so much personal bullshit in regards to people saying things about me that just 100 percent are true and i just had to live with it i had to deal with it i had to deal with the shitty comments i had to deal with the hate messages I had to deal with nonsense. I had to deal with people trying to tear me down, turn my businesses down, my companies down, my brands. So, and I'm okay, but that's different, right? Wrong. Because, like, it, it, there's a difference between, like, people uh, shitting on Andrew Tate for, like, misogyny or whatever versus, like, actual criminal actions because there are multiple different avenues, like, institutions that are also now involved. You have, on the one hand, institutions and organizations <laughs> in the UK that, uh, you know, fail to investigate him properly, right? Well, okay. Let me stop you. I'm not saying you're, you're I know everything you're saying. And I know what you're about to say. It's true. I was just sharing my opinion. Why? If I'm answering this question, what do I need to see? You will. So, so it seems like you'll never nothing can ever convince you. I have really I'm going to tell you right true. now. I think when the investigation bad. concludes uh, and, and if the investigation shows like if he's that, convicted, will that convince you? Probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Of course. Bro. Yeah. OK. Like, Let me ask you. I'm, I'm going to try to focus on something else real fast. In the video, which we all agree is real, he says he lies to the girls, he takes 70 and gives them 30, he tells them he splits it, he lies to them, he says he's paying taxes, he's not, and so we all agree that he's doing that, right? Well, he said he's doing that, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. doing that, he's doing that, that's fraud. Okay, so that's fraud, and it's theft, right? So he's a criminal already. Yeah, I mean, there's, if he... Yeah, that's I'm a crime. Literally okay, dead. okay, so this is good. So imagine a guy who's willing to do a crime and you've seen the way he talks about the women with such disdain, right? Like he doesn't fucking have any respect or care for them at all. I mean, how could you if you're like, yo, here's fake tax fraud so I can steal money from you. I mean, so 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 again, is that someone who respects the women he works with or is that someone who sees them as more of a fucking cr crypto farming human crypto farms? <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously. I mean, bro, this situation is fucked, obviously. Yeah, it's like, fucked. And he's and he's committing a crime, right? He's stealing from them. By well, his own admission, by his own words. I mean, he did say that. Yeah, yeah. So he's so he's stealing from the girls. We know that for sure. Which I'm not looking at that. I'm like, that's why I can't believe he said that. <laughs> yep, he said that. And so that one we can't even debate. He's stealing from them. He's just stealing and he's lying to them with fake tax forms that's like super high level fraud you can't fill out fake tax forms right like that's super illegal yeah i mean that's yeah, yeah I, would, I would go to jail for that yeah 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 big time but also imagine how much you'd have to hate or not respect the 
other person on the side of that. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Yeah. You just like don't said, treat, you don't think that they're fully fledged human beings <laughs> if you're fucking them over like that. So, so like, is it, so when you start there, this is what he said. He goes, yo, I'm stealing from them. I'm talking about it openly. These people have fuck are nothing to me except a fucking ATM machine. So, I mean, from there, it's not that much of a leap, right? To think about he's coerced them to come there and work for him because he's basically said they're human ATM machines to him. I hear your point. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Nice. Yeah. But he's commit. He's the thing is, we can all agree he's stealing from them. Yeah. That's yeah. That's but, yeah. But okay. That, cool. Does cool, that cool. meet the Does that meet the standards of of sex trafficking? Is the question for for Bradley? And I believe that uh, do given the legal definition of like the lover boy method and grooming and coercing women into sex trafficking, especially when the investigation is concluded and it shows like witness testimony about physical coercion, physical intimidation paired up with all of the things that he has said about like beating women paired up with like videos of him actually beating women i think it's a pretty pretty open and shut case having said that though just like in the uk i do not believe like when when we talk about the matrix like i don't think the matrix is uh is is as against andrew tate as he claims it is if anything the matrix has shown time and time again if you think of like cultural hegemony the world that we live in uh, time and time again has shown that it doesn't usually side with women. It usually sides with perpetrators. It usually sides with people in power. So um, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what will happen in the uh, Romanian court system. Uh, let me throw a, a hypothetical to you. You just started with the Nelk podcast, right? And congratulations. That's awesome. You're a great presence there. Everybody loves that you're there. Let's say you make this deal with Kyle and he goes, Yo, we're going to go 50-50 on this. You're like, awesome, 50-50. And then you find out a few years later, he was actually keeping 70%, giving you 30, just straight up lying to you and keeping fucking 20% that whole time, bro. Imagine how little respect he'd have for you just to fucking steal 20% from you like that for years. And then you go, and then you go, oh, maybe you find out about it. You say, this seems light, bro. Like, where's the other... Where's the other 20%? This, this he got, oh, I already, in a different situation with yeah. a different business partner. Well, it's not that different. He goes, he goes oh, I, I'm, I paid taxes with it. And you know what's crazy about that? Is that the girls still have to pay the taxes on the 30%. Yeah, so, so like, the, the level to which he's fucking them over. That'd be a lot. I mean, if it were going that theoretical situation. Yeah, yeah they're not going to sue, uh, but they're not going to sue him. You understand that, right? I, yeah, I guess so. I don't know what, what? their capabilities are. Yeah, no, they're not going to sue Andrew because he kind of, they're fully dependent. They live in his compound. It's like he said, remember, his words was like, I feed you, I pay for all this shit, I know what it is, I've got the infrastructure, I've got the house. It's, he said, like, he is, he's like, yo, you live here, you're in my world. You know what I mean? Like, he said that, basically, when he's like, I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this, just shut up and do the cam work. So they're not gonna they're not gonna sue him. I mean, no fucking shot, right? I mean, yeah, I guess I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. I mean, it's 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 easy to suggest that. So again, we're painting a picture here where he's stealing money from them. He's using them, and they're in a position where they're not really gonna have the power to do anything about it, right? Because with you, you got it. You're a guy. You're an influencer. You can walk away. You can sue him. You can make a video. These girls can't really do hey, anything. If you're a Moldovan, like 18 year old who now lives in fucking Romania, and you're scared of him too, because he's like, a big guy. You're he's like, a, you're yeah. in love with him, and then you're like kind of scared of him because you're in an abusive like you're a relationship with him, uh, alongside like 18 other girls, <laughs> as he's also claimed. Yeah. You don't have any fucking legal recourse. You're not even thinking about the legal yeah, recourse. Like not you're out like, of the question. Because you're you're thinking about survival. You don't even at that live point. there, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You don't even speak Romanian. Who are you gonna who are gonna talk to about it? And then imagine this the guy there, he's a fucking kickboxer and he's into BDSM. He's a little fucking crazy in bed. And maybe you like it a little bit because he fucking slaps you up and shit. But then all of a sudden you're like, 
this guy's a little crazy. He's a kickboxer. He's a hothead. What's he going to do to me if I try to sue him or go to the police? What do you think? You think a girl's going to just be... And she fucking lives in Romania. She came here from some, like, wh where did you say? Moldova. She came here from Moldova, and she's living in Romania. She doesn't even speak the language. Right. And on top of that... So what's she going to do? on the internet that this dude has legions of fucking fans that, <laughs> like, go absolute ape shit over anything he does. You think that this is, like, a, a powerful figure, both in your life and in general? Because he is. Like, people will, if you come out against a... Uh, a, a very famous person like this, like, yeah, it, it you know, people time. are going to fucking destroy you. So does that kind of make sense? Like a, in this picture we're painting where this girl who he's stealing money from, does it make kind of make sense, right? Where she's not going to be able to do anything. In fact, she'd probably, you can admit scared of him a little bit. I mean, in the picture you're painting, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that's that human big trafficking. Of a it's that's human that, trafficking. Yeah, it's yeah. not that big of a stretch. I mean, that's kind of what it is, right? I mean, you know, he's not forcing them to stay, right? But he's created a situation where they pretty much have no choice, and they're scared of him, and that's human trafficking. He convinced. Uh, it's crazy, right? Because he convinced them to come over there because he wanted to marry them. He said they love them. They trust him. And then all of a sudden, this is the situation. He's stealing their money, and they can't do anything about it. They have no. Because they're scared of him. They're also making money. They're, yeah, make, they're making. Well, he said himself. He goes, "If I if we make ten thousand dollars, then she gets um, three thousand dollars." And by the way, in some of the reports. And we don't need to speculate because I like that this hypothetical situation is pure. But in some of the reports, they said that he was withholding their money and not paying them and stuff like that. Yeah. But but let's say, yeah. I mean, yeah. They're, they're, so, so let's say, yeah, they're making money. $3,000. Let's say there's a top earner there. Let's say she's killing it, bro. She's bringing in tons of cash, right? She's, the, she's like huge. And let's say they're making... <laughs> Let's say they're making a hundred thousand dollars a month, bro, crushing it. So she's getting thirty thousand. That's a lot of money, right? So imagine she goes to Andrew. Listen, I don't want to do this with you anymore. I'm gonna leave and do it on myself. Or she's gonna say, I want to leave because I made enough money and I don't want to do this anymore. What do you think Andrew's gonna tell her? I'm assuming he's gonna try to convince her not to leave. Yeah, and he's scary. And she's here from another country. She doesn't even speak the language. Also, he's stealing her money. Let's say she found about that. And she says, I want my money back. You know, what is he going to do? She, he's a little scary. He's a kickboxer. And he's into BDSM. And he has guns. He has armed guards there. He has a ton of guns, bro. It's like, you know, the thing is, though, it's like, okay, these are all theoreticals. I understand what you guys are Coercion. trying to say. No, they, I mean, I mean, they're not, this is a they're not bro, theoretical. This is, this, no, but this is all based on what he said. This is all based on the premise that we agreed on, is that he's stealing money from them. So if yes, you start, yes, but, if you start the, from the there and build up. Thing, I'm just saying, every, the, all the other things you're saying to, like, paint the picture... At the same time, the theoretical situation you're creating right now, for all you know, maybe he said, someone said that to him, maybe I want some more money. He goes, okay, bye. How do you know that that doesn't also Because exist he might have said that to one or two people, but if there are enough people that he did not say that to, that's still illegal. You know what I mean? Like, let's course, say you're, right. again, going back to the murder analogy, if you murder one person, you murder two people, you murder three people, but then the fourth person you let go, that doesn't absolve you of the three murders that you've conducted. Yeah, of course not. You know, you're still a murderer yeah. at that point. But I think the premise we've built here is very <laughs> plausible considering what we know for sure, which is that he's willing to steal money from them and lie to them. And that he, he is a kickboxer. Really, he has a compound he with guards. He is a kickboxer. And we've seen a video of him beating the shit out of a woman. Maybe she liked it. But either way, he's capable of slapping a woman in the face really hard because we've seen it on camera, right? He's comfortable doing that. In fact, he likes it. Yeah, the thing that I know for certain is that he did say on camera behind a paywall saying that, like, I'm comfortable basically stealing from these people. He did say that. So that's pretty interesting, right? He, yeah, he didn't so, even just, he, he, that wasn't even like an admission. He was flexing that.
He was saying you should do that as well. He was teaching that. Yeah, he was educating others to do the same thing. That's Hustler University, bro. That's what he thinks young men in the world need to hear. What do you think about that? That was the first iteration. I don't think that was Hustler's University level. I I think that was before when he was like teaching people how to do like literally the lover boy method, ironically, until he got called out and deleted it from his fucking website. So let me ask you this. He is breaking through to men. Do you think that video we watched is something that's good for men to see? Because that's kind of, that's, that's his specialty, bro. That's his background. That's how he made money. That's the game. Yeah, I mean, that, that honestly, no. It's bad. You're, you're telling people, to, you're just telling people to lie to people and to take more money. Yeah. There it is. I think we found some common ground here. Yeah. That's undeniable. That, that clip is, you can't make that up. I wish I saw that clip. I've never seen a clip. Yeah, and I just saw it on Monday, right? It's it just kind of is making the rounds now. Um, I just saw it too. If I had it, I would have shown it to you earlier. But I feel like I feel like this is this has been good. Actually, I feel like this has been good. Yeah, this is a productive conversation. Yeah, Yeah. more people need to hear things like this, and you got to take the time out and explain it to people. I know that people get like immediately mad. (laughs) And go, oh, just end the conversation and shut it down, shut it down. But, like, no, you, a lot of people do not comprehend that, like, what Andrew Tate is doing on a grander scheme is playing into the matrix, the real matrix, which is patriarchal constructs, which, uh, of course, allow for the objectification of women, and also capitalism, which allows for coercive conditions in which you employ people and you fuck them over. Every boss fucks their employees over. Whoa! Okay. I mean, to a certain degree, that is, right. to a certain degree that is what it is. To a certain degree, that is what it is. There's, uh, there, there are levels of this where this fucking guy. There are levels of this where you know you can. There are levels in which you can do it in a way where like your employees are happy, they're stable, they love the <coughs> workplace, they uh, they love all of that. Okay, I mean, I have, I have uh, collaborators as well. So, but that is the reason why people look to normalize this kind of behavior. Or that is the reason why people turn a blind eye to this kind of behavior because they just don't think about it as like anything out of the ordinary. But when you pair it up together and you like withhold passports and and uh, you know lie and withhold wages and openly admit that you're lying about that sort of thing, then it becomes like extra illegal to the degree where like the average person should be able to comprehend it. See, you're such a nice guy, Brad. You can't even imagine lying to someone and stealing like twenty percent of their money. Because that's crazy. I've been, I've been fucked over so no, many I, times. I, I'm sure I you have, bro. Thing. Yeah, that's and it's like, you can't even imagine it because you're a sweet guy, you're a genuine guy. But imagine the type of person it takes to be like, I'm going to take, steal 20% from her, I'm going to lie to her, and I'm even going to print, print out fake tax forms so that she shuts the, the fuck up. Like, imagine the type of person. Is that the same person that you met with and who was like cool and awesome, Andrew Tate, who you, you know, he think, you think he's an awesome guy and you say that. Does that jive with the guy you know? No. No, it doesn't. No. No. Yeah. And is it possible that Andrew Tate, and this is a big leap, so apologies if you can't join me on this, is a <laughs> high-level functioning psychopath who, <laughs> well, is it that hard to believe he's stealing money from them and lying to them and printing out fake tax forms and then making I mean, videos I- about it? Is it po- how much does he benefit from being friends with you and the Nelk boys? Ask, ask, answer that. And, and Aiden. And Aiden Ross. Aiden God, Ross how much money well. has he made from making content with you guys? Because y'all are like, you guys, by your own statement, you're 95% men. Y'all are the men's it's, club, and that's a, cool. It's a mutually beneficial relationship because the other <laughs> side, like, there's a reason why some people uh, go to certain lengths to defend Andrew Tate as well. Like, because Andrew Tate does bring relevancy Tons and clicks. So... Yeah. That's the reason why the <coughs> fresh and fit podcasters were literally like dick riding him so hard, even though they were not allowed to have conjugal visits with Andrew Tate in Romania. <laughs> they were writing underneath baby. his fucking, they were running underneath his tweet like, we should bring the boys over there, right? Like, should the fresh and fit podcast go to Romania? It's like, bro, how fucking desperate. Like, holy shit. Because, but so. Well, so let's talk about that for a second. So Aiden's going to yeah. go? Is Aiden going to go? Yeah, he, yeah, he said he's going to go. Huge mistake, and obviously you know how we feel about it. <clears throat> I I want to I I can't get through to that man. I just that boy. It's, it's it's so good for him, and he sees how much. No, I think it's beyond been. that. I think like I he's think he's been groomed. I think, I think uh, 
that, you know, Andrew Tate is a uh, relatively charismatic figure, especially if your, like, worldview aligns with his, and he's, like, a funny guy. So I think that's part of the other reason why, like, people are are ready to defend him, because they find him to be, like, funny, and they find him to be their friend. Also, it's easy to not look at the really red flags. It's easy to kind of look past those. I look at everything, man. That's, that's, why. that's good. That's why you're the man. That's why I like this conversation. So, but let me ask you this, because I, I, I want to finish this point. Okay. How much money do you think Andrew Tate made from his association with Nelk, with you, and Aiden Ross? Like, how many Hustler University memberships did he sell from that? It's cr- right. Know, but to be lot. honest, I mean, I don't know. The, re- the reason why I can't just say, like, that's all it is is because at the same time, we also realize, like, it's not like... We were like, hey, Andrew Tate, no one knows you. Let's make content together. Now everyone knows you. He did blow himself up. It's not as if, like, like, everyone's been using him, if I'm being honest. Everyone's using Oh, Tate he's the him. one that's being used. Okay, interesting. No, I, there, it's mutually beneficial. Yeah. He's not the one who's being used. He, there was a reason why he would go on all these shows, because he doesn't have a steady flow of, like, audience that he can uh, tap into in the same way that, like, <laughs> like Aiden Ross has loyal fans. And hundreds of thousands of people that tune into a stream every day. That is very valuable to someone like Andrew Tate who doesn't have his own like personal media operation in the same vein. He had a he had a YouTube channel, Tate Speech or whatever. That wasn't popping, you know what I mean? Until until like the TikTok stuff uh, blew up. But even then, he needed like collaborations. And you understand this as a content creator. Like, you have to collaborate with other content creators to continue growing your audience, to continue your material fresh, uh, to keep your material fresh, and and to have a, a steady flow of, like, new people coming in. And that is yeah. precisely what he did with, with Aiden Ross and everything else, with everyone else. And, and let me throw another point to you. This is a man who we've all agreed, by his own words, is willing to steal from his girls, and he doesn't give a fuck about them. He'll steal from them, and he'll lie from them. So this is a guy who has some psychopathic tendencies because that's not normal to be able to do that, right? Like that, that's, that seems pathological to me to be that comfortable stealing and lying to someone about it, right? That's not normal. I don't know about psychological. I don't know about pathological or anything. I just think people, but some people. That's not deal. normal, bro. I don't think it's normal. No, no, I don't think it's normal. I think a lot of people do it, but I don't, I don't think it's like psychotic. But the way he talked about it and the way he's proud of it and he wants to teach people how to do it. That's just not, it, to me, that's not normal behavior. Yeah, when you and, don't believe your victims are people. Like. And so, right. And so, this is the guy who is going to buddy up with Aiden Ross and with Nelk because they got that perfect audience. And he's going to be the biggest sweetheart to you, right? Like, y'all are going to hang out for three hours after the show. And he's going to, he fucking loves y'all. And he's, and you know, by the way, psychopaths, Super charming, and I'm not making a joke. That's one of the traits is that they're extremely charming and extremely manipulative. And so he's going to turn it on because guess what? Y'all are super fucking useful to him. Uh, and all, and, and guess what? It's good for him too because it's useful for you guys. It's like win win. But just a ma- of like, of course, you're going to love his ass after three hours because he's super charming and he's super smart and he's super manipulative. And we know he's manipulative because how he lied to his girls. Uh, I'm just saying, bro. Something to chew on. Something to chew on. No, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You're the man, bro. Thanks for talking to us. Dude, I apologize. Yeah, my bad. Who the fuck is he calling you? Wait, who's calling you? This is fucking my videographer. The hell, bro? No, I know. I got to tell him to shut the fuck up, right? And give you my money or what? Not kidding me. I want to say thank you for talking to us. I know that we, we barraged you. A little bit, but I'm happy we had this conversation because I think it's useful and I I really think it's great that we're able to at least find some common ground here, which I think we did. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me on always. I mean, it's all love no matter what, you know? I'm so not, we can I'm say, not... we can all agree, Andrew Tate is a criminal. Well, I mean... Fuck yes. I can say that for sure he admitted to stealing money from these people. So he's a criminal. Yeah, by, by, by okay. his conviction and all that. What's okay, up? okay, so that's, there it is. Let's start there, baby. Okay. Listen, okay. Bradley, you're the man. Go out there, lift some heavy shit, bro.
Go lift the okay, heavy. He- no, it's all good. Go lift the heaviest fucking shit in that gym, bro. I appreciate it. you guys. Got to come train one of these days. We're gonna. I'm da- I'm down. One hundred percent. You're the man. You Bye, dude. Love Bye. you, Brad. Best juice forever. He's gonna lift the heaviest shit right now, dude. What do you think? I think we got through to him a little bit. I think so too. Yeah. And I apologize for doing a little bit of trolling. I felt that it wasn't going uh, anywhere productive for, for a minute, and I just thought I'd try goofing around a little. We bit. do a little trolling. It's, it's cool. all good. We do a little trolling. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Sorry to cut you off sometimes. No, no, it's fine. Just it's you. Like, uh, th- I- for everyone in the chat who don't understand, like, why do you have to have this conversation? It's like, well, there are a lot of dudes who have this opinion, whether you like it or not. So I think this is a very constructive conversation to have when you, it's almost like when you have friends that have like shitty opinions or whatever, you don't immediately dismiss them and, you know, alienate them, which will then further push them aside and, and most likely uh, have them continue that kind of bad behavior. You treat them, you know, you yeah. try to pull them in and, and explain the situation step by step. And Bradley's and a great guy. This is happening He's in a public minded. scale. Yeah, this we, is happening in a public yeah. scale that yeah. is is very constructive, in my opinion. I agree. I think it's awesome. And the thing is, like, yeah, I mean, listen, we've all talked about Andrew Tate so much. But the problem is, is that there's like an iron curtain that people like me and you can't break through. And so if we can find a way to actually... Break in because this whole manosphere red pill thing is really corrosive. Yeah, and we gotta. I'm. Tr- I really want to show what a fucking fraud it all is. And Brad's the man, dude. So I love Bradley. He's super strong, which is awesome. Is he, is he stronger than you, Hassan? Do you think? What? Yes. Okay. Because yeah, I don't know. You lift dude, a lot. What? Yeah, he's he's literally 260 pounds. He's heavier than me with like seven. Or not seven, but like you know, eight to ten percent body fat. He's really tall. Which means it's he. I'm taller than him, tall. but it, I'm like I'm six four. He's six three. But it doesn't matter because like he is just all muscle. Yeah, like I still have a lot of huge. fat. He's crazy strong. He's insanely strong. That's awesome. I respect that about him. I, I do. I I legitimately I do. Know I know that. you yeah, know yeah. that. I just that that's a lot of fucking effort that you put into Dude, something. The man lives and breathes lifting heavy shit. Mm. By the way, have you seen Liver King's body since he stopped the roids? He's t- it's coming down a little bit. No, really, I haven't. <gasps> his his pecs look normal now. Oh, that's sad. He still looks good. What an though. L. He, he looks good. Um, he should have kept <laughs> doing it. Nobody likes a quitter, Liver King. What the fuck is this? I think his lawyer said, you got to show that you got to try to not look that different because we're going to lose this lawsuit for sure. Here is Brian. Brian is when he's off steroids. My second dinner with zero calories. But that doesn't mean the king is not going to eat. Dude, he seems fucking haggard. He looks... Uh... Look, just look at him, man. He is... He's, he's still I'm pretty fucking toned, man. You can see I have four different types of salt. I got some slab. Wait, what, sh- f- yeah, show me a picture of him recently, I think, from today. Okay, check this out. This is this is crazy. Now, of course, he's in insane shape, right? But yeah, that ain't the same. This kind of stuff is really hard to measure on photos, unfortunately, because, like, you know, photo to photo, you could literally look... You can literally, I mean, it, it does seem like he's he's uh, losing some weight. For his sure. breasts, I mean, his his chest muscles were, I never seen anything like that. Now they look normal. I mean, they look real. Well, his yeah. abs still look insane, but, uh, you know, he, he still, I think the hardest component here is that it, it's going to be, it's going to be hard to maintain his body fat percentage. This is before, this is after. It's gonna be hard to maintain his body fat percentage uh, and and muscle mass for sure. Honestly, you can you can almost convict him on this photo alone. <laughs> like he's like, yo, the liver did this shit. Yeah, he's a lot more full than that one. Here's here's Liver King. Here's Brian. <laughs> All right, we did a good one today. This was uh, this was a production. We didn't get to talk about. Anything we plan, but that's the magic of the show, isn't it? That's how it works sometimes. You gonna go live stream now? Yeah, we're, but we're back, baby. Leftovers is back, better than ever. Woohoo! Woo! I spent 
so much time looking into George Santos last night, and we didn't even get to it. But it's kind of evergreen. We could probably just talk about it. Oh, yeah, week, George right? Santos. He'll – more new lies. Nowhere. Next week, there's going to be, like, 11 new lies that we need to add <laughs> to the fucking docket any, uh, the document anyway, so. We're going to find enough, out he's enough. not even human. He, he's, he's something else. You know what I mean? He'll lie about anything that you can lie about. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Hassan. It's nice to see you. It's nice to have the show back. I think we're uh, doing good things here. And uh, see y'all tomorrow. Anthony Fantano's coming in. That I'm going to have fun. him on on Saturday. That's all. He's just going to sit with you, like, on the stream? Or you we'll do, the we'll pod? do all that. We'll do the pod. I might work out with him on Saturday morning, too. He lifts, Get right? those fucking beefy legs in action. I want to see those vegan gains. Dude, he's, he's jacked. He's got some thick thighs, you know? Thick thighs save lives. I respect that he's vegan. That's pretty dope. Yeah. All right, Anthony. He'll be here tomorrow. Hassan, we love you. Fans, we love you more. We're back. We're back. We're right, freaking see back. See you all tomorrow.